where's the value in the or the purpose behind the video games and like not quite honestly spencer i don't know what the fuck to do with my life dude what i'm yeah, lost I'm, as fuck and when i go i just have to take a yeah really you're good bro. I just have to, come on come on bro stop crying i don't know if it's the best way to get the podcast started. Should we just start it? Here we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll ignore that. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, subscribing. We freaking love you. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, turn those post notifications on. We're flying. The channel's flying. We're doing a lot of big things. Our house smells like shit. The dogs won't stop farting. Well, Mike is blaming it on the dogs, and I'm sort of kind of curious. I think it's just you. No, it's the dogs, man. If it was me, I would say, hey, man, I farted. Are you sure? Sh- really? Yeah. Because last night, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, the whole house just reeked. It was the worst sheer thing I smelled like a fart in my entire life. And then if you if you Horrible. saw over there in that corner, so, somehow uh, there was dog poop on the floor that got smeared in a five foot by five foot square, and also on top what? of a cha- a chair. I don't I don't know. Does that how? Happen? I don't know. We should light a candle. Hey, can we get a candle? Can we order a candle. Order one. I think we yeah. got a couple. There's one on the around. table there. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we saw um, we saw uh, a pterodactyl in our backyard yesterday. I thought those were fucking extinct. I thought biggest bird were... I've ever seen in my entire life. It was huge. It had, what like a wingspan, what, probably 20, 30 feet. It came down. It took the you know the tire that you flip over with Jake that you guys put all your might into. Yeah, it picked that up at least forty feet off the ground, dropped it. Then it took the boxing ring off the no, little no, concrete blocks impossible. that it's on. Impossible. It was a the bird had to have 80, 90 foot wings. It sounds this is, like you're exaggerating. No, no not, not at all. This he is the same it. bird that killed the fish. Remember, remember in the in the Rest in Peace Kong video? Oh. We have we have it on film killing so, our koi fish, dude. Yeah. And so he comes and he stabs our fish with his beak but and flies when, off. When I saw mm. it fly away, he was flapping his wings and a tree broke, a full tree, oak tree broke off at its fucking uh, little root. The root. Mike, Mike was explaining how, like, you know, there's attacks from like underneath the ground and attacks from the surface the level. Land. But but he, what were you saying about that? Nothing is scarier than an attack from the sky. I think this is just the scariest thing in the world. Imagine a giant pterodactyl. <gasps> Just At coming down moment. and can take your whole house off its foundation. Obliterated. Yeah. Like imagine yeah. how the uh, the koi feel, bro. All they're used to is swimming in water. It's then true. all of a sudden you get pierced in the fucking heart by a pterodactyl beak, ripped from your home. I'm more. I'm more stupid now, actually. Well, after I mean, listening to you guys, you're more couple stupid. Couple I'm, or, I'm, or, or are you stupid? Lot, or, or are you more? Wo- or are you woke? Or are you woke? Damn. Here's the thing, man. We have a conversation at the beginning of every show. It's always fun and games. Like, (laughs) we're all friends here. I'm fucking pissed at you. 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 (laughs) Yeah, I didn't tell you about this, but I'm going to roll it out (laughs) right now. I heard about this actually this morning. Last night, and we'll get into into Black Mirror a little bit more Uh after this, because that's a whole other fucking story. Uh. I had a girl over that I have been trying to hook up with for a long time. Can we we give her an arbitrary name? Just so I can address her. Fine, let's call her Amanda, okay? (laughs) All right, for the fuck of it, all right? She came over with her friend who, we'll just give it an arbitrary activity, you've already hooked up with, okay? They came over, we're hanging out, we're watching Black Mirror, all things were going swimmingly. I was in makeout mode, but quietly, carefully, because there were people around. Mike iterated to me that he was like getting a hand job under not the covers. Not in, not in, not in. Never said that. She Never said that. Dick. We were making you. Okay, all fair game. Cool, cool, cool. All fine. The end of the night, I, in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm like, yeah, I'll get you an Uber. She's like, I have a shoot in the morning. I'm like, all right, I'll get you an Uber home in the morning. I'm like, all Logan has to do is not like somehow make a severe and continuous lapse in judgment here. Out of nowhere, he gets up and goes, well, that's it for me, guys. I'm off to bed and walks out of the room. And the girl's friend is then pissed off. And she's like, why doesn't he like me? I want to go home now. She's all pissed off. And then she's like, makes the other girl fucking go home. I don't think anyone has sympathy for you, Mike. Get over it. Be cooler and smash earlier, dude. You know what I said? I said to the girl that I had hooked up with, I was like, yo, um, Amanda, she's like, you know, she won't, she won't. Fuck Mike. And she's like, that's so weird. She fucks every other dude. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, Mikey, like, it's just not my fault, bro. That, that's what she said? Yes, yes. So that's who you're going after, man. You're, but you're these, trying but to see you're fine. The but these girls have, like, infighting, so I don't know. Just, just rub me the wrong way. You know Black what rubbed Mirror? me? The Black Ooh. Mirror rubbed me the wrong Ooh. way. Spoiler alert. 
Double tap 10 seconds and then double tap again till you're not past the Black Mirror section if you're going to watch it. Striking Vipers. I love Black Mirror. It's um, it's by far my favorite thing to watch. Uh, I've watched every single episode twice and they just came out with three new episodes. Yep. Um, one of them had Miley Cyrus in it, which Mike iterated to me was garbage. The worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm so upset with how this season is going. Like, it's just terrible. So yes, terrible. yesterday we watched this episode called Striking Vipers. It was, uh, it's a play on Mortal Kombat, right? Yep. But it's called Striking Vipers. And it hit us... Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tread lightly here because it's just. Uh, it, uh, I, I, so what 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 about it? Did you not like? No, it's because at the end of the day, it's it not ended that, with a. It's pretty thought provoking. It's, it's not that I didn't like it. I was just not exactly sure what the fuck I was watching, which is oh, which is of Black the, Mirror. The point of no, Black I mean, Mirror, you just define Black B- Mirror. By though. the way, do you know what Black Mirror? Why it's called that? Um, no. Yeah. When you look at your phone screen. It's well, a black. Mirror. It's a picture, bro. Is that really why it's called? No, that? no, no. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Look, when it's when you're sleeping, technology. When the screen is black, oh, it's a it's black a, mirror. It's a mirror. It's all about. It's a play on tech. Is that like something like spiritually that is bad for you, or is it just? Well, I mean, like technology is consuming mirror. our lives. Listen, okay. let's stop right, treading carefully. The episode was trash. It was absolute garbage. The the whole I season I've seen. Why, why, I've why seen, is it? Why I've is seen it trash? Trash. I've seen two episodes of the new season so far, and they both suck. The Miley Cyrus one and this new one. The old ones were very like future facing, and they were so well, twisted. Let, well, let me and dive cold. in. Let me this dive in. So, let me dive in. Here's, yeah. here's why. I don't know how to say. It. Okay, there's a video game where the two actors, there were two uh, two two dudes, and. Um, they they put on this head thing and it, you get in their in their mind and they enter the video game. So they are playing as the Mortal Kombat characters. Mm-hmm. One of the dudes played as a female and one of the dudes played as a male. Yep. Now they started fighting and then quickly therein they started making out. <laughs> and so I, I was like, whoa, like I don't know you could do that in like Mortal Kombat or Striking Vipers, which we found out, like we figured is like two dicks just like touch striking. like striking. Striking and so and tips. And so we're like, whoa. Gay video game sex. Interesting. But then the characters, the actors were like, yo, but it's not gay. And here we are thinking, like, are they gay? Is it, is it just like a video game thing? A sensation there? And again, I want to tread lightly here, but that was what they had to figure out. So the two dudes, spoiler alert, at the end are like, yo, we just got to meet up and kiss in real life. It's because we got to figure out, like, is, is this like a thing between us? Like experimenting with our sexuality, yeah. of course. And so watching these two semi-straight dudes, like, try to kiss, they're just like, yo, we just fucking kiss me, man. And like, he grabs just him by the neck, he's like, and then, they kiss my get, and then they end up getting in a huge fight. The, yeah, like a fist like, fight. But, but, but they yeah. kiss. It's not even that. It's just like the whole, like, fl- remember, like, we were like 25 minutes in the episode and you go, Mike, gee, I really hope this picks up. Well, like it, the it started, are, it started they slow. They are all very slow. Okay, it's so even, here, let's yeah. answer this. If, yeah. if we're gonna if we're gonna determine why this episode is flawed, if you two were the were the gentlemen, right? You yeah. guys are you guys are friends. Yeah, very close friends. Well, I've so had if this you moment. Were, if you guys were the guys in the game are playing the game, is it is it gay? No, you no, guys no. hook up in the game. No, no. Uh, ah, I don't know. That's why Black like Mirror is so good. Sa- if you smash know. Mike and Mike's a chick in the game, I, is yeah. that... Well, because the dude who was playing the chick was like, yo, it feels so good. You don't understand what it's like. But like all that's and, all that stuff is like, that's all That's all like ancillary to the fact that the If episode, you bring this back to the fucking overarching fact that Black Mirror sucks these first three seasons, I'm going to kill you because you've done it three yeah, times. No, three no, times. no. no Please first, focus on this episode. No, the first... No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying I am. I'm focusing on this episode, which sucks. The first three... The first three... I disagree. I, I, the, first, I, yeah. the first three seasons of See, Black Mirror... Doing it again. Back. You've done this three He's times. Oh, you're telling me not to do that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you've done it three times now. Please yeah. focus on the micro of this specific I episode. Keep going macro. I can't. Here's, here's what I'm really think- last last night. No, I can't focus on this episode because it's like. Imagine if somebody's like, you see that pile of dog shit, and you're like, focus. I, like, yeah, I don't you're want doing to. It for the fourth it's time. terrible. Right. Okay, so I think the reason why it's terrible. good. I think the reason why I li- I enjoyed the episode personally is because. Obviously, in 2019, it's a very heated time for different genders and different, you know, sexual preferences. I thought it was interesting because the episode made me consider, like, that's what people feel like that are are gay. Probably is like they have these sexual desires, and then when they express those desires, they're like, "Is this good? Is this bad?" So I thought it it kind of like helped me go to that mental space that's hard for me to 
I enjoyed, I enjoyed the episode. Sense. I, don't know I, I that thoroughly sense. enjoyed the episode. I, I thought the... it was really. I was just talking. It was yeah, interesting. I, uh, hey man, I if you come at me, I was still talking. I was still talking. Actually, I'm still talking. The re- the point in the episode where I was like, okay, I think I'm having a problem here, is when. The do the one actor who pl- who played as the girl and was like, "Yo, it feels so good to like be a girl in the video game and g- get fucked." He's like, "Yo, like I yeah. I played as the polar bear. Like I fucked the polar bear." In the that tundra. was the line. He said, "I fucked I fucked as good. the polar bear." Good, yeah. And I was just like, "Wow." They're really going for it. All right, yeah. we talked about this too much. Mike's making it really difficult. He's sweating, so I feel like no, there's some I'm, sort of anxiety. We, no, it's not. We turned the AC off. But the, the, my my fi- literally please last no, no, no don't on say it, anything else. The, the last no episode, on it is. Don't. I think there's no room for last. The no. last no on it is. Why can't we compare? At uh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> wow, literally, j- fuck, fuck. We just wasted another ten seconds. Bro, Logan, eat no, the no, fattest not, cock no, in no, the no, history no. of the world. You <laughs> moron. You not, fucking yo, moron. I'm not gonna do it. Shut I'm the not gonna fuck do it up. Because the episode Shut where it was just up, us, dude. I saw so many comments that were like. Yo, Mike, please just yeah, let but Logan you know how many episodes, you know how many comments I see that are like, I never fucked with Logan Paul or his stupid vlogs till you came on and brought the, the adult range in. I see just as many comments. Okay, I'll show those. them to There's you. Not a, no, people the are like, yo, no, I don't no, care no. about Logan's twelve year old vlogs. You're I don't sad, care about Logan Paul's twelve year old vlogs. Mark, or the fact that he has no Here's idea what he's talking about. Normally, you didn't come on and start talking about shit. Logan Paul has no idea what he's saying about shit. He's intellectual and he knows what he's doing. You don't know shit. I know things about anything. I saw about something. Nothing. I was, no go back stuff. to Gun Girl. Go back to any episode. You don't know shit about shit. Let's fucking talk about End it, Mark. Story. Let's fucking talk about it, bro. I don't want to. Just stop being an asshole I this think episode, there's a difference dude. between being ignorant and not knowing when to shut the fuck up, which you clearly don't, because, Mark. Because you're not letting me finish what I'm saying. You're like, oh, don't try to compare it to other episodes of the show. When, when you try to talk about... T- Black Mirror has been a has been a great series. Three seasons that we've watched every episode of. Then I watched the Miley Cyrus episode. It was terrible. I watched this episode and it was not. It just wasn't this on the same level as the other shit. You've that's my that's times. my final point. You've on said it. this five times. Well, you know what? It's I like a, a repeating final, myself. It's a good final point. It's a it's a great. You like what? Final repeating point. myself. Well, maybe you should stop. No, I'm not going to. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want because that's my brand. That's why people fuck with me. Because I, I don't cower to fucking people like you. No, you do. No, I don't. No, you do. No, I don't. Because I've heard. No, no, him say I can't this say this. I'm a tread lightly here. I'm a tread lightly here. I'm a tread lightly here. I don't tread lightly, bitch. Yeah, man, he's so fucking tough. If anyone in this house knows, two weeks ago, Mike had a little Twitter thing go under. And this man was shitting his pants. He's like, yo, man, it's real bad. My brand. I'm like, you have 9,000 followers on Twitter. I can assure you, no one gives a fuck, bro. And he was freaking out from a, such a micro hey, man, influencer. What I'm saying you is You act this. like you're so macro. All I'm saying is tread lightly, man. Don't piss off the sponsors. Tread lightly, man. Okay? We don't have sponsors. I know because you fucked us. <laughs> As usual. I won't argue that. <laughs> you're right. I screwed this whole operation. What a fun way to start. Wow. <laughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. That was, that was entertaining. Well, pull, plus the air conditioning's broke, dude. It's fucking No, hot. it's not broke. Andre what? turned it off. You, uh, no, not in someone here. Someone turned it off. In the house. I had to sleep in here last night in the garage yeah, yeah, with my two dogs. They were whining. They're like, why is it in the Spe- garage? So, so speaking of cutting you off, by the way, what else do you have to say about the Dobrik thing? Because you should have a chance to finish your statement from well, the last episode. Well, that's what everyone was saying. Dude. Yeah, here's why I should cut you off. Because you have nothing else to say. You're wrong. What do you got? I forgot. I have security cameras everywhere in my house. Yeah. So I went on and I looked uh, at this at the time when David, Corinna, and Jeff were on um, on the studio. And you, so, could hear somehow, they, you could hear what they were saying. I could hear what they were saying. Okay. They made a suicide forest joke. One one of them, one of them, uh, Jeff was actually it was caught on camera. Someone like Instagram him and he was like making fun of me and my my mistakes and my controversy. Jeff was fucking good, bro. Then then you text me the next day and you want say you want to go running at Runyon Canyon or, or you want to box sometime like. Please, please come over and we can handle this like fucking men instead of coming on at my house on my podcast and talking shit. And David too, bro. Like, yeah, I everyone I, everyone has has these internet personas, but they come to my house in real life and and the the blatant disrespect right in front of my eyes. Like, but but also behind my back, uh, I don't like it. I feel like this is another one of those bo- those sparring things. Like where we entered onto the episode after he sparred and he just hates everyone. No, I think I bro, love I think, people. No, I think I think you're offering like a really valid point. Like, why are people coming into your house disrespecting like 
disrespecting your set and what you've done. I get it. A lot of it is for the content and that's part of their life. That's part of what they do. But when it comes down to like, you're pulling up the same thing over and over and trying to, not only were they doing that to you too, what I actually thought was really fucked up was they talked to Hayden. Like they They, pulled Hayden aside and and the only thing they said to him was, yeah, I'll let you say it. I you're, don't fully remember. Uh, David goes, oh, you you added the Suicide Force video. Like, David, shut the fuck up, dude. For real. Like, time to move on. Uh, we get it. You're hot shit now. But I think I can speak for everyone who knows you. If you keep this attitude up, your time is coming. I was there, dude. I was fucking there. So ease up, Tiger. Ease the fuck up. Oh, there we go. Respect. I think you should spar that guy. What's his name, Ryan? Jeff. Jeff. Uh, I think you should spar him, bro. Yo, Jeff, with tech. You want the smoke? Come over to my house. Come to the, come to the Maverick yeah. house. Let's if you're going to talk shit. shit behind someone's back, bro, like come do it at the house. Come do it the right way. Hop in the ring and actually like back up what you got to say. I got to play devil's advocate on this one just because that's the way this episode's going. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> jokes is jokes. Jokes is jokes. I mean, that's it to a lot of people in this industry. That whole thing's a joke. Yeah, it's at Logan's expense, but people joke about it all the time. Wait, wait, wait. Eh, wait just wait. throwing that but, out Okay, there. okay. Jokes is jokes. I, I, I haven't forgotten about you, our guest, who's one of my best friends. But wait, we're, we're in the shits right now. Are oh, you going to settle it? Wait, I want, I, want, I want to bring you on in one sec. Jokes is jokes. Indeed, why I don't think it was a joke is because David and I aren't like this. Yo, what's good, man? Tight. Good to see you. We used to be. Evan but now, that. but now he can't, he comes to my house, my party, uh, my cameraman goes to film him, dip, dips out. Jeff steps in front of my cameraman. Like it was so blatantly obvious that they were trying to avoid being captured by us. And I, I'm just sitting here confused. Like, yo, did you come here to get some bit for your vlog and avoid being captured on any of our content? Or did you come here to have fun with everyone else? I, I th- I think he's got some, uh, some good can, feedback. Right, I'm going to introduce let's our guest. Um, as soon as I get my laptop, here we go. Hey, man. Hey. Sorry this got so heated right away. Guys, he, today is a very special episode of Impulsive. Our guest today is one of my absolute best friends. We literally made a series, a series called Best Friends. He's my roommate, and he is a superstar. It's my BFF, Evan Akirode, a.k.a. Dwarf Mamba. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> good to see you, man. Too. No, no one's entered like that. No. Just straight across the table. And no one will jump up like that either. You, you got some hops. You do got bro. hops. Hell yeah. I want look. I want to give this evi- uh, episode due diligence, bro, and really uh, dive in because I think this could be one of the most important and special episodes that we do. I think <laughs> having you on is is well overdue. But did you did you have something to say about the uh, no doubt Dobrik situation? So going back to what Mike says, joke and jokes. That's kind of like <laughs> I guess in my situations where I make. I guess jokingly videos about my dwarfism. <sighs> kind of like what Logan said. There's only a certain extent extent that a person could go. There's only a extent that a person could go in the relationship of that person. Like, like Logan said, how tight you are with that person. Yep, yep. Like Logan can make jokes about me all the time. Because I know he's joking. And we're bros. And we love to laugh. Yep. But like if someone out on the street makes a joke about me, I know they're doing it intentionally and to and like bashfully. That's just not cool. Yeah, malintent, malintent, and and you're absolutely right. I think, I think this that's is, my problem. I think it. this is this is actually super close to the <clears throat> Crowder situation that we like skimmed over lightly, like drunkenly the other day, where it's like trying to figure out how to draw the line. Like let's let's be honest, they didn't know they were on camera. They didn't intend for that joke to ever get out, so it was a joke that was behind closed doors. I, right? I yeah. think I, it sounded like they turned on the vlog mode, and I think they filmed the joke. I think they filmed they it, and never, it didn't make the cut. You know, they would never make that. They would never air that. So, and, someone, 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 know, in, someone Instagram Jeff in the middle of his thing. He was sitting right here, and he's like, "Oh, I'm on camera. This was supposed to be private." Yeah, well, what I'm like, saying yo, make, is- Hey, talk your shit about me like somewhere else. Not in my fucking house on my podcast, bro. Oh, yeah. Plus, I snuck in. Yeah, it's, it's weird. They didn't sneak in. I found out my assistant, Danny, <laughs> fangirl, then <laughs> led them in here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She's like, and this is the podcast room. <laughs> I, hey, but that shows like what kind of people they really are, bro. They're what gonna, what'd they say? They're, they're, take they're, advantage they're like, of yo, we- they asked, where's the podcast? They, they were super sweet about it. And I thought they were gonna yeah, so they were just coming off like innocent. Well, I mean, like, I like, I will, like, I will say, like, Corinna's kind of a fucking sweetheart, dude. Like, uh, I, I have no problems. I, I, I like, I, I, 
It happens. I don't know. It happens. Sort of want to exclude her. Yeah. yeah. I have no problems or opinions on any of these people, by the way. I don't know what happened. I don't know the whole backstory. I, I what like, do you mean you don't know what happened? We literally just covered it. It's, no, it's I know. No, no, minutes. no. I know that. But like, I don't know like why they were saying it or like what the context was. Like, what do you mean, Mr. Like, Devil's there's, Advocate? There's no, there's no need to be a context. Well, I make horrible jokes all the time about terrible things. All of us do. I'll speak for all four of us. We make terrible jokes that are horrible. You, Spencer, maybe not as Let bad. me ask you this. I'm going to say, why are you throwing this? all of us into that? Have category? you ever gone to someone's house and made the most a uh, hurtful joke you could about them at their residence 100%. behind their back. Absolutely. You're a shit. Wow. Absolutely. And you've That's done disgusting. terrible things too, bro. That's disgusting. So don't act like an angel. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not in the context that I just gave. Yes, you, I've done you, terrible things. It's just, it's like sitting on, it's such It's bullshit. like what? It's like sitting here and Give me judging. an example, bro. Give me a fucking example of what uh, I just said. To, you can't, you literally can't because no, I've never done that. Uh, fuck you, Mark. Going into someone's house and making a joke in their basement or garage. Like, yeah, people, people do that all the time. At a party, dude. Mm. So no, if I don't like that person, I will not be at that person. Yeah, like I like, just in, don't in a get discussion. it. Do you have, like, a, do you have an enemy? Do you, do you have an enemy? I don't have enemies. I don't have any enemies because I I maintain every relationship. That's I right. don't burn bridges at all. I'm dead serious. I'm on good terms. Even Why do someone's a piece of shit? He might be right. By the way, he might by be the way right. think about it. Why do you? A lot of those people that were at that party. Banks, Alyssa, the net, like a lot of those people were at that party because I've tried to fix bridges that have been burned by Logan. Like I am, I am. Evan. Oh, you're going to put me in the middle You're not like going to say anything at all? I mean, I'm not. That's my job. I like building relationships and being friends with everyone, so I don't have enemies, so I can't relate to what, you're, what question wait, you're wait, about Because ask. you don't want your friends to be enemies with your other friends. I think that's the that's, si mad, that's more that's the situation. Noble, but that's mad noble. That's good. Yeah, yes. Right, right. But I just want to clarify, right. like, yeah. it isn't just me burning the bridge, bro. I'm often reactive. Facts. Like, facts, like with facts, this Dober facts. situation. Why I invited him to the party. I thought David could come and have fun. Not fucking dog on me in my house on this end of my podcast. You know what I'm saying? I, I get Does that. that. And by the way, I'm also on your side. I'm just trying to look at like the other. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay. So um, Spencer, is, is, did yeah. he quit? Did he walk? He's still our roommate. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So look, Evan, here, let's dive into the, the podcast. This is the juice. This is what I really want to talk about because this episode does mean a lot to me. Yeah. Um, Evan. What up? One of my best friends in the world. Uh, I can't believe it's taken us this long to get you on the podcast. Well, technically, I've been on one before. True. It was the second one. But so not te technically, I'm the second uh, oh, reoccurring guest. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. All right. But now you are the guest, bro. And I want to focus on you today because you have a, a condition called dwarfism that I think is often, pun kind of intended, overlooked. God dang, um, it. God dang it. I'm so sorry. He can make that joke though. He can make I, that joke. But like, you just, we just, <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I, I often, I don't make dwarf jokes. I, I actually like, I, I try. It, go. I wouldn't say that. What? <laughs> <laughs> you go on YouTube and you look up Logan Paul. Oh, oh making, sorry, sorry. Making, making dwarf jokes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> because you're best friends. And no, no, no. Real life. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, yeah. Uh, like, real life, I, I, no, real no, life no, I'm no, never no, making yeah, dwarf yeah, jokes. No, on camera, I've made some dwarf jokes. Yes, <laughs> including one now. Just to add just including just check it out. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, man, we've been friends for a minute. I was actually scrolling uh on my Instagram here, and my fifth picture is of you. Wow! Oh, wow! This is this is literally the fifth picture I ever posted. Um, August sixth, two thousand thirteen. Do you remember this? Is there no cash in? Is this me? Solid day in Michigan with my oh. dude Evan Dwarf Mamba. <laughs> Without a tag, was it just he didn't even have the name yet? I don't know. Do you remember when we first met? I don't think I had Dwarf I had Dwarf Guru. Oh, that was, I was right. Dwarf Guru. That was right. And then I switched my Instagram to Dwarf Mamba. Well, what did you say? Do you remember what you first said to me when, when you saw me? I said, damn, you're tall. And I said, damn, you're short. <laughs> damn, you're best friends. <laughs> best friends forever. <laughs> <laughs> best friends ever. Uh, uh, yeah, you were, at a, you were at a dwarf convention. Yeah, I was at a dwarf convention and you drove three and a half hours. Yeah. What, hey, what goes on there for people don't know? Because they're, they're amazing, the dwarf conventions. I've been to two or three now. Yeah, so there's like technically two different types of dwarf conventions. There's the World Dwarf Games. Mm. And then there's um, LPA, Little People of America. And Little People of America is once a year around July 4th. And it's held in various spots of the United States. So mm -hmm. it's different spots every year. So in this year, it's in San Fran, which I'm going. Um, what goes down there is there's sports. Activities like basketball, soccer, volleyball, football, track and field, swimming, bocce ball. Like let, let me ask this. you this. Why do you like it so much? Because you make it a point every single year to go there. Every single year. But actually this year will be my last. Oh no. It will be my last <laughs> year, retiring. unfortunately. He's retiring. <laughs> <laughs> After 10 years, got to put yeah, up the towel. Yeah. <laughs> but um, why I love it so freaking much is because 
it brings, I guess, my kind, mm-hmm. d- people with dwarfism together one week out of the year. And we just like let go all of our stress together. Mm. Like we come together like, because there's not a lot of us that's around. Do, do you have a, a stat on exactly how many dwarfs there are? Oh, uh, yeah. It's um, well for stats, not. For like population exactly, but I know the stats, statistical stats of uh, not statistical stats, um, <laughs> stats of two average people to have a dwarf child. It says here five million people of short stature, and uh, what what that, kind of no, no, that's not right. Short stature meaning under four eleven. Yes, so e- even if they're not, they don't have dwarfism. Okay, that which is fucked up lawfully. What is, what is dwarfism defined as? Uh, a bone. Uh, Fuck. Bone deficiency. Deficiency. Yes. And um, muta- mutation. Sorry. Bone okay. mutation yep. deficiency. Yep. And that is caused when at birth or before birth, actually, way before birth. Because mm-hmm. my mom, actually, shockingly, I was supposed to come out of my mother as a monster. I was supposed to become like fucked up. Like, like more than one hand? <laughs> I mean, no. you came out, like, you're, you're a beast, though. Yeah, I came out like perfect, for lack yeah. of better verbiage. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, mm, <laughs> yeah, perfect. I don't want to say that. I'm joking. I'm joking. Because, I mean, no, I'm not joking. You're great. You're perfect. Because, well, there's other types of dwarf. There's over two, 200 different types of dwarfism. And some of these other types of little people who are unfortunate, they're just in a wheelchair the whole life. Yeah. Um, some only live to be 18. Wow. Um, is some who their legs are too long for their torso, their arms are too long for their legs. Hmm. Like, their head's too big for their body. Like, they need surgery. Like, 30, 40 surgeries just before the 18. Like some of them need these type of things. And it's uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Something I learned as your roommate and friend, um, because I wasn't, uh, I, I mean, ignorance is, is I think, in a, a problem you experience almost every day of your life. Huge. But like, here's an example of one that you might not have known. The M word for dwarves is like the N word for black people. Is that correct? Like, can you say it? I don't want to say it. I I've, I've stopped saying it. Wait, the M oh, word. Uh, so the word he's referring to is midget, which is weird. Weird that actually back in the 1960s, us dwarfs would prefer that to be called midgets, mm. and then it switched. I want to say the 80s mm. to where now it's little people with dwarfs. So yes, the word, the term midget is a derogatory word against dwarves, which the N-word is also a derogatory word against black people. So it, to an extent, yes, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same um, I, f- I feel concept. you. There's there's a negative connotation in both words is what I'm saying. But most yes. people don't know that you shouldn't say yeah, oh, yeah, the N-word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. People, yeah. people come up to me like, what should I call you? First off, call me by my fucking name. <laughs> like, <laughs> my name's Evan. That's a good story. Call me by my, my, my fucking name. Um, but they'll be like, like midget? Like, is that a fanny? I'll be like, Yes, like that. That's not the correct terminology. It would be like little person or dwarf. And they're like, oh, like I didn't know that. And like that's the people who I envy the most because they're so open. Yeah, and they want to learn. Yeah. not the people who just say that word and just. Well, because yo, Evan, it's, like, it's, it's, I, and they're I, just like, oh, you're short. Who cares? Like, just the word. It's like say, say the same thing to a black person. Well, most like, most people most people don't know. That's what I'm saying. And and we ran into this problem at Coachella. Um, do you remember this? This was fucking weird. The most mind blow. F- the most mind blow. F- you can How about do some it? water. You could probably do How about it. some water. Water's some water. great. You can you drink the water. The whole mouth. But I do want you to say, say the, the most mind blowing moment of our entire lives. So whenever anyone ever fucks with Evan, I'm I'm like I'm go mode, yo. Like I'm I'm like big bro mode, and I'm ready to fuck some people up. And uh, word got around in our group that someone called. Evan, a midge, right? That's what they yeah, called it. A midge. Without the T? Just a midge. Yeah, yeah, just a midge. And I was like, so, you know, I put on a dress. Yeah, me, well, no, me and you were just like, oh, uh, whatever. And the dude, like, was yelling it from the line. Oh, yeah. He was yelling it he from the line. With it. And, like, it was like, I was like, is he looking at me? Like, is he pointing at me? Yeah. And he did it the third time. And he was definitely looking at me and he even pointed. Yeah. And he said, yep, so, he's yeah, at you. Yeah, Let's so, go fuck this kid up. So we, so, we went to go, <laughs> so we went to go handle it, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I was like, yo, do you have any idea what you're saying or that that word could hurt, hurt someone's feelings? <laughs> and then he's like, what do you mean, man? I didn't mean, what do you mean it hurts his feelings? And then from behind him, out comes a dwarf. 
and they had a dwarf in their group. He's like, what's up? It's me. Really? Midge. Logan, Logan, <laughs> literally, Logan and I, these, this is the moment. This is our moment. This is our exact faces. Let's do it together. Like, like, we just saw it. We go, no. Oh, no that's not what we did. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we literally looked at each other like, I couldn't believe it. Like, we didn't know what to do. We were like, what the, like, because, what the fuck? Because in my mind, Evan has bred me for the past three to four years being like, us dwarves, we don't like to be called the word. And I was yeah. like, and I was like, Okay, no problem, easy. And so this dude has a friend who apparently doesn't mind it. So it must not be a universal dwarf thing, which I think co complicates everything times it, 10. It, it, it is, it then is. And what was this dude but doing? He, he he grew up in an environment where literally he must have not seen a single dwarf in his life. Like he must not have seen the single uh, little person. So he just grew up around these average height people, yeah. which I use the term average height, it's not tall, tall person, normal person, it's mm. average height. Um, and he just doesn't, like, people call him, probably called him midget well, I, his whole life. And he's just probably like, yeah, I'm, well, a, I asked I'm him, a midget. I was, I was like, hey, when they call you that, doesn't that offend you? And he's like, no, nah, man, it's whatever. Like, he was yeah. drunk out of his mind. Yeah. But, like, he didn't care. Which mm -hmm. which was super interesting to me because kind of went against everything I've ever heard <clears throat> from you. I think, it's, I think it's a tricky situation, too, because people... People just don't know. And I think that's what's important yeah. about you being on the show. Like people, people just don't know. They don't know any better. Like pe pretty much like everybody I talk to when they're like, oh, I'm going to have Evan. And they're like, uh, come to the party. They're like, oh, the midget. Right. And I'm like, yeah, but I mean, I, no, but no, no, they say it's so simple. It's the same way that they would be like, oh, the Asian kid or oh, like the. Yeah, it's, no, people, yeah, people use it, I mean, to describe me, but they don't realize that the word no, is No, but that, that's what I'm getting yeah. at. They have no idea. They're just like, that's what you call it. And I'm like, uh, I go, you can't say that. And they're like, why? Like, what am I going to say instead? And I'm like, well, you could use dwarf or you should use dwarf or for Evan's Evan. case or or Evan. Uh, but they just don't, but they, they're they blown away by it. Like, they're like, oh, I didn't know I can't use that word. So it's that's why it's important for you to be on shows like this and making and garnering awareness for people that have the well, condition. Well, which is crazy is like people who don't know about it. Even it's like, I get DMs from parents who are about to have dwarf children. Oh, really? And they DM me saying like, hey, I need some help. What do I do? Um, I'm worried about my kid. Like all this stuff. Like wow. They just don't know how to even raise a dwarf child. Well, I, and, and it's just like, this goes for any parent who has a disabled child. You cannot help that child back from anything. You let that child do whatever he wants. If he wants to go try out for the basketball team, let him go try out for the fucking basketball team. You want him to go, her to go try out for the Chilean squad, go let a try out for the Chilean squad. Don't let him be uncomfortable in this world or environment. Got it. Because... I have actually, so I was in the fifth grade. I've never seen a dwarf before in my life. It was in the fifth grade. I've never seen a dwarf before in my life. And I saw this picture of a dwarf in a school magazine, a school that's like 20 minutes down the road. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was like, oh my God, it's another little person. Like I was so excited. I was actually excited like to meet someone who's has my condition. I've never done it before. And then so we got the, um, the principal of my school to get in contact with the principal of the other school and uh, try to get in contact with the parents, be like, set something up mm -hmm. and like rearrange it. And the parents said, no, um, we don't want our dwarf child to like really go out and socialize with other dwarves or like what? go out and like just have friends. Like Weird. Th these kids in other school, they were telling me about this child, how he would want to talk to anyone. He would literally just sit by himself Talk to, act like he has friends. Sounds like a case of shitty parenting. It, it does, but they were probably just so scared that they had a dwarf child that they didn't know what to do. So they're just protecting they it sheltered sheltered way them. too much ah, mm. to where it's not healthy. Ah, okay, I got you. Well, and and your, your parents are average height, yeah? <laughs> yes, too, yeah, both of them. Um, okay. Is that what you call it? Average height? Is that what it? Yeah, people like, your, your parents are normal height, right? They didn't know something in normal. Yeah. Everyone's different height. What? Define the term normal. And and mm -hmm. they, they knew beforehand that you were a dwarf, correct? That's what that's yeah, okay. yeah. Um when I was in her, I guess in the womb. Mm -hmm. the so womb. why why does that stand out to you as being important to identify what normal is? What, what do you mean by that? Like you you're you're making it a point that we start to with this awareness, we start to use the term average height. Yes. Why do you think that's important that that people do that? Because there's no there's no such thing as normal. Like define a normal person. Is the thing the definition of normal is that being different, honestly. Being different is being normal. Mm. Yeah. And um yep. 
that's where we should be at and and help these kids who grow up these girls these kids who grow up aren't good looking enough aren't tall enough aren't whatever enough and they think that the, the society gives such a like a perfect character mm -hmm. on us like the Barbie dolls and all this stuff that we grew up to be like that but it's like it's not always like that right you know the the world's gonna be tough the world's gonna be tough but it's how you embrace it and how you fight it yeah has how you're gonna mm. and, and your life and you've you've coped with it in, a, in an absolutely incredible way yes. um, which we're gonna get into later but just going back to the the parenting situation you know I know a lot about you mm -hmm. like probably like 80 to 90 percent of things about you mm -hmm. um do you, do you want to talk about your dad at all? You don't have to. Uh, no, because I don't. I don't know. Really, I don't know. Okay. Anything about him? It was a traumatic event in your life, and I'm wondering if it if it shaped you in any way. Um, uh, no. No. Okay. I know there's a. You you've told this to me before. There's some. There's like a surgery, you can get. Is that is that like a real thing? You okay? That was dope. Yeah. Sorry. That was dope, it's, it's been coming out the other side a lot today. But <laughs> oh, you're having a pooping that. problem. He's we got heard. a poop. poop nine, nine poops. Major poop nine, poop. nine poops today? We're up to nine. Brother, it's 2 p.m. We're up to nine. That Incredible. Was, I was at uh, 11. Anyways. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> was it, You've was told me that you can get like a surgery. They can oh, like yeah, extend surgery, your surgery. bones or something. Surgery, yes. So it's uh, a leg um, bone lengthening surgery. <gasps> it's um, I just... Yeah, I just found it, uh, some, a little bit of research about it, a little bit more research about it, because I just knew like the broad details. But it's actually back found in the 1950s by this dude in Russia, who they used it on World War II veterans, I guess, when they had fractures with their legs. So basically what they do is, uh, if you're a dwarf child and you want this leg lengthening surgery, it will add like a foot or so to your height. And you get at a young age, and what they do is they put a metal bar around all your limbs and they put these rods in your bones that is connected to these circles and then they have screws where they tighten the rod so it basically Whoa. breaks the bone so they tighten it breaks the bone centimeter by centimeter it breaks the bone little by little they let it heal for like a couple of weeks they come back to the doctors break it again Heels, come back, break it again, heels. It's oh it's God. a very, very painful process. But it works. It it works. Oh cramping. Oh. Oh. Damn. We got our first impulsive <laughs> cramp. Down. My leg, bro. Yeah, my, ham, wow. my hamstrings cramp on. You feel, you feel Anyways, all right, man? No, I, I hate to see you in that kind of pain. What? <laughs> what? I pulled up this picture here. She got the surgery. Yes. Would you ever she, consider doing anything like this? So that's funny that you ask. I actually cried to my mom when I was a kid, uh, begging for her to give me the surgery. Really? Yeah. And uh, oh my god. But I mean, that's kids. Obviously, you just you're sad. She just told me, you know, you're fine, perfect the way you are. You know, as every other mother would say. But there's also so there's also surgeries. Okay, right here. Uh, you know, go back to this picture. So you see how her lo her legs are bowed. Oh, sorry. It's my dad. Fuck you, Greg. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, Jesus. Sorry, sorry, Greg. I'm on one. <laughs> so you see how her legs are bowed? Yeah. So there's also a type of surgery where they uh, straight, uh, straighten those. So mm. they would do like basically the same surgery, but just like straighten them out. So mm. again, like maybe just a few more inches, which is, that's, you should do that because that will, by the time you're 60, you be horrible arthritis. Like you have horrible really? pains. It's a, yeah, it's a huge uh, a, lot, a lot of growing pains that, yeah. that you have. Oh, specific? growing pains? Oh yeah. uh, no, but I'll have as I get older, I'll have very bad arthritis. You will. Like, my joints are terrible. We have very bad joints. You also have a giant rod in your back. Oh yes, I have a <laughs> titanium rod. Uh, I had a seven vertebrae fuse done. I don't know. What exactly what that means? You also have a giant rod in general as well, correct? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> that's what I. Wait, mean. I hey, can, can we show? Yeah, you, can we yeah, show this you the special show you, the rod? Can, can you pull uh, which rod? Oh, no, no, the back, the back oh, rod, the back, the back rod, rod. <laughs> the back rod. Yeah. Are you sure? Pull, pull up the back real quick. Oh, wow. Yes, we got so this. Sorry. But that like my butt. That's, so he's got like a foot and a half long rod in his back, all the way to the crack. Yeah. So I had that in the third. Two foot and a half long rods. So I had. Pretty major. <laughs> so I had that in the third grade done, and that's actually a pretty common uh, surgery for my type of dwarfism, which is called achondroplegia. Give me some facts about that. One, right. one in what? One in what? Forty thousand? For what? Achondroplegia? Yeah. Yeah, it's one in thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Okay. 
But you're like, I don't know, if I'm being honest, you're like the fucking Brad Pitt of dwarfs, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of you're kind of a big deal, bro. Not yet, but hopefully. Cause you've you've iterated to me that you want to bring awareness to uh your people or however you would call it. Not really uh <laughs> Not my people. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you, people, said, you said you're people kinder. with dwarfism. Just I, say people with dwarfism. What do you but, mean, you people? But it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not just people with dwarfism. It's more people with all types of disability. Is mm. what I'm trying to bring awareness and not try, because um, we don't learn enough about that in school. Agree. We really don't. Agree. Like in biology, I learned literally there's one probably one question on the test that was about dwarfism, and I'm just like what happens. If someone has dwarfism, is it genetics or not genetics? Mm. And I put it as genetics. And they said I was wrong, which fuck y'all. How? How <laughs> For the Board of Education <laughs> telling me what I know is right and not right. <laughs> there go the veins. I love when Evan starts Because to scream, it's genetics dude. when when the person has dwarfism, but it's not genetics if it's too average, right? So it's technically. If you way. have a kid with another dwarf, do you know the percentage that 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 your kid is a dwarf? Yeah, it's like seventy five percent. So if I have if I have sex with another dwarf girl, female, yes, yes, yeah. What, what about if they're an average height person? Um, uh, you know? fifty fifty. Really? Yes. And you 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 told me before that you're hoping to get an average height kid who plays in the NBA. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's quite, every, it's quite, every kid's every I guess father's. Not dream. nope, not me. <laughs> Actually, yeah, the NBA would be sick. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Fun. You don't have to worry about it. You just uh, yeah. chilling while he's like, yo, uh, give me money, yo. I came on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> you came on my balls. Give me money, bro. Yeah. I mean, but you got you got crazy athletic genes, bro. Like you're fucking yoked. You haven't worked I'm, out in I'm, a year. I'm and, very very fortunate. Yes, very fortunate. Like. Have you, what's your workout routine like when you do work out? Because as far as I know, it's just like playing video games and eating chips. <laughs> a lot of video games. So yeah, that's, you know, it's a lot of video games. But I guess when I, like you asking for my workout routine? I don't know what I'm I asking. Think this an inter- yeah. I think it's an inter- I think it's an inter- like, Yeah, I come in, rep some like dumbbell no, shit. <laughs> but well, it's, what I actually took, you know how I went through like a two week, three week span of like working out like crazy every day. Yeah, Mike was that. with me. Yeah, I remember that. And, um, the reason I stop actually is I want to ask other dwarfs about this because I don't know other I don't know much about this, but my joints in my wrist were killing me, like to the mm. point where I can't even I couldn't pick up the dumbbell. No, I lifted this way. My joints in my see how my wrist kind of bend yeah. down like that, and I had that kind of bone right there. Yeah. Like you see me walking; it's more like this thing with my whole arm. It's just like bad joints, bro, and it fucking hurts to work out sometimes. Wow. You're doing a ton of push-ups. That was one. You of can your do things. handstand push-ups too. Yeah, you, yeah. Strong as hell. Yeah. But you're most, <laughs> but you're strongest at video games, I would say. And that's why we. <laughs> and that's why is that inspiration. Well, that's why we brought you here today. I don't. I don't want to lie to you and say that it's to garner awareness for. It's uh, an handicap. intervention. It's an Evan. intervention, bro. I you knew it. I'm strong, more, bro. Evan spends. I kick it down. <laughs> Evan spends <laughs> run, roughly 22 to 23 hours a day playing video games. I shit you fucking not. This kid wakes up, eats, sleeps, shits, and bleeds. I've never seen anything like GTA, it. GTA. Fortnite, he just goes. No, I, the I, best, the I'm best thing Fortnite. is don't at, call me, don't call me. The, no Fortnite. <laughs> the best thing is in the morning, at the morning and late at night. His favorite game to play because just a senseless drone of a game is NASCAR. He drives. You little, play NASCAR? He drives the little truck around the track. The whole. Hey, I'm, I'm at the nationwide series. And he goes. Now, right? <laughs> and he goes. He goes. He goes. Hey, Mike, watch this, man. I'm gonna cause a 15 car pileup. <laughs> and he just. Cra- and I go. And I go. That's cool, Ev. I don't know if you might have forgotten, but you have two million followers on Instagram <laughs> and over two million on YouTube. Do you think you're ever gonna, I don't know, produce some fucking content? <laughs> Evan, what's good? What bro? the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I mean, I don't like I love making a sketch. Skits. Yeah. Skits, sketch. Any, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know that. Yeah. I just fucking hate YouTube, bro. I hate YouTube. I hate vlogging. Um, I hate that whole lifestyle. Hey, I'm gonna ask you a question right now, bro. And I want you to be honest with me. Oh. Please be honest with me, guy. When you say you hate vlogging, do you hate being in my vlogs? Oh, no, no. I love being in my Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, that's different. No, that's different. Because I, envy, I actually envy you. Like, I envy a person like you. Because it's like, I can't go around day-to-day fucking recording my life. Like, I look like a... F- I feel like I look like a fucking buffoon going to the grocery store. But I think... Like, but everyone, yeah, goes, but everyone does, yo. Yeah, but it's like you... Like, I guess you have, like, a nice group 
Mm. That's like you all look like stupid idiots. Ah, yeah. Right? Yes. We, we all look like fucking idiots. Yes. So it's okay. So it's okay. <laughs> so true. But, but it's like, it's when like, you're I'm by trying, when, when you're by yourself and you're trying to do something for yourself, no one realizes it's like, that person has 2.1 million followers. Let alone a fucking dwarf. Like, 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 what is this dwarf doing? Like, just recording himself in public. Like, just sitting there talking to a camera. Like, first off, his head, that it's just his head on the screen. I so. resonate with what you're saying so much. I understand. When he goes out to vlog, there's a film crew, a sound yeah, guy. Yeah, it's easy. And they're like, it's hey, easy. take one. And he's like, what's up, guys? Welcome. And everybody's like, yo, that's Logan Paul. Yeah. You go out and you're like with some cantaloupes at the grocery store. And you're like, just out here buying cantaloupes. <laughs> no, and no, not like that. Not like that. I'll, I will like record. I'll record like problems that I have. Yeah. Like, for instance, the grocery store. I'm like, oh, can't can reach that. Out there. And people will see me set up the camera on like an <laughs> aisle. Cookie and aisle. I'm like literally cr- climbing <laughs> up the shelves. And the person's like, uh, security, <laughs> aisle six, security. And I'm like, no, it's for Video, fuck. <laughs> hey, you know who does a good job? Quick shout out to Mark Donor. I gotta say, I am so impressed with his ability to vlog alone because he does it, dude. And it's possible. It? it sucks, but I've never seen someone. You just with have such to have tenacity. a different type of drive. I feel like, or a different type of yeah. I think he likes creative energy. I think the first energy. thing you have really to. Isn't I think the first thing you have to do because remember he did it alone for a long time. He, you know, you were alone and held the camera yourself yeah. for a long time. I think the biggest thing that has to happen is you have to get over that hump of just not giving a fuck yeah, have, just, about any, like, yo, I remember we went to the Golden Gate Bridge a couple of weeks ago and he, I, I remember seeing him run in front of all the people who were like taking pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge and he had like his shirt was half off and he was just being a, compl- <laughs> and I'm like, he is so comfortable doing this and being that person that he is not embarrassed. He doesn't care what anyone thinks and you have to get there. It's, it's also, it's, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad for me. Right, I don't ever right. want you to feel bad for me. What if you get stabbed in the heart or some shit? Okay, then maybe okay. Feel bad for me. I, we'd feel bad. It's, yeah, it's hit by easier for him being an average hype person, being a society of mainly average hype people, easier for him to do stuff like that. See, when I do it, or I want to do stuff like that, people, they don't really laugh with the joke. They laugh at me. Mm. Mm-hmm. They don't know that I'm doing mm. it for the joke. They're like, oh, dwarf joke, Jester, he's short, ha. Huh? Talk more about that really quick too about um, ju- about that. You we we had a conversation about this last night about what dwarfs were considered in like the 17th century and shit. Yeah, 17th century. Um, in fact, all of Europe they would use dwarfs as gestures, jokes, slaves, slaves. Um, they would breed them. They would trap them up and like really breed them. Someone had fetishes, and they would never in the laws of society's eyes as an actual human. That's literally what it says. Jesus. That's how they treated them. They they, they really just like the whole lives, our whole like, not our whole lives, a whole like 300, whatever, how long we've been here. Dwarves have been butt in of jokes. And you said mm-hmm. even up until recently, they couldn't play baseball. Was yeah, that, I mean, that I was don't, a rule. Yeah, like uh, I looked, yeah, in the MLB American League, there's a, in 1951, there's a uh, guy by the name of Eddie... Eddie Gable, yeah. And um, whew, he was, I believe, three foot ten and had an on base percentage of 1,000 because he would go <laughs> up to the batting plate and, and just get walked. Oh, because they couldn't hit the strike zone. They couldn't zone. hit the strike zone. Oh so, my so, God. so they would walk him all the time and then they would get a pinch runner for him. And then he would just have someone run the base for him. And then, He's genius. And then I, I don't know the difference between how they did American League, National League, and just MOB and all. But, um, yeah, then the, about a year or two later, they banned dwarfs from playing in the American League Baseball. I don't know if that's still uplifted, if they change rules. I'm guessing they would. What do you think? Hopefully what they would, because if not, it won't be a big lawsuit going, buddy. <laughs> what do you think about that, though? <laughs> and I don't have to work. What? What do you think about that that law, though? Because, like, think about it. In all, in all fairness, imagine how hard it would be for a striker to hit uh, a pitcher to hit a strike zone that's, like, this big. All right. In all fairness, how hard is it me to run 90 feet and easier for you? So it's easier for you to run the 90 no, feet. No, I, 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 get, I get that easiness factor, but like from an ability to even like do it, like get it done, like how a pitcher would have to change his whole. Okay, then change it the fuck I up. Th- I think what he's saying though is it's like, that's a fair balance. Balance. Like, yeah, if, if you know, dwarves have their own issues. Then I, I got a question. Too. Yeah. That was, a, that was a bold question, and I and I commend you for it. Yeah. Because like at the end of the day, we're all yeah. just asking questions. Yeah. yeah. Um. And I don't I like I, like you're my fucking boy, bro. Yeah. But like, r- realistically, what are the chances 
It, like a dwarf would make it to the MLB. Oh. No, wait. I'm not an Realistic, asshole for asking Realistically, this one percent, no chance at all. One percent, no chance at all, because they look same. Hopefully, but, is it, I, but I, I just want you to be careful with that because I don't want some dwarf watching this to be like, I'm going to make it and maybe he can and then you're just telling him. Or, or just tell him he can't do shit. Fuck. Like whatever you want to do. <laughs> well, no, I want to tell you like, it's like, go out and play those sh- sports to your greatest ability. But there's going to be a time in life where you're going to, people are going to be better than you. They're going to be more athletic than you. That's life. That's life. People are going to be better than you. And you, you're not going to be able to overcome someone who's seven foot one playing center and you're three foot ten, four foot two playing point guard. Like, yeah, the, the there's a di- there's in life you got to face reality. Like, there's fun, and then there's reality. And you had fun I, I, to the point where reality is coming to hit you. Yeah, I want to hit on something real quick because we talked about uh, uh, security at the grocery store, and you know, security. There's, there's a dwarf climbing on the shelves. You, oh, yeah. you. You've uh, told me stories about how you've gotten physically picked up and removed from clubs before. Oh. Do you remember this? Well, yeah, Holy this, shit. Yeah, this is actually, it only happened one time in my life. Okay. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. 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 But um, so I was dancing with my friend, right? And um, I was drunk. All right. I was drunk. I was pretty drunk. We all were. But I know I was just dancing. And we, me and her were just dancing. We're having a good time. And then all of a sudden, I just feel... It, Pull back of me. And I was like, yo, what the hell? And he's like, yo, you gotta go. <laughs> and like, that's all he said. He's like, yo, you gotta go. <laughs> and I was just like, what? I'm like, I'm just dancing with my friend. And I'm like, what, what's the point? He's like, no, no, you gotta go, buddy. You've been calling shit all night. I was like, I'm really just dancing, buddy. Yeah. Like, what's the problem? Well, you, well, you, and you he dance kept, really well. I think that oh is the problem. God, You're dude, a really good dancer. So good. I was, my dance skills intimidated me. He's like, yeah. yo, I gotta get this guy yeah, out of here. Absolutely. Yeah. But so he kept grabbing me. <sighs> And I was just like, yo, get off of me. Tell me what I did wrong, and then I'll listen to you. Like, I'll obey your orders, whatever. Yeah. Next thing you know, the motherfucker just puts me in a full Nelson. <laughs> like, he got from in front of me to behind me in, like, a blink of an eye. I don't know if because I was drunk. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. <laughs> it, really, it was like 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, like, it was 10 seconds. It was so quick. Put his, um, if y'all don't know what the full Nelson is, he basically- uh, Right here, I'll do it. it. Yeah, yeah, put it. Fuck him up. Shut up, Dylan. So he put me Go in. until he taps out. Right here, right here. <laughs> That's what he put me right in. Here. That's what he put me in. L- proceeded to lift me up off my feet and carry me out. I told didn't you. Know, didn't That's know the up. risk of breaking my neck, breking any limb, <laughs> for just dancing. Have you considered not dancing? dancing? <laughs> I yeah. will dance till I die. <laughs> <laughs> I told I told Ev if I was there, like... I oh, probably, I, I probably would have hospitalized the kid. Oh, like, the, I, I am the so, guy would have The like, guy would have been dead. Like, bro. Would have been dead. I just, just don't fuck with my boys. <sighs> don't yeah, do it. It was. And then I went to talk to the cop afterwards, and he was just not having not it. helpful. Well, you ever meet I him? mean, I, I can see where he's coming from because they deal with a lot of drunken people, which I can understand. Like, a lot of people coming up to him going, no. In this situation, though, like. This yeah. wasn't the night recently in Santa Monica, right? Oh, no. no you, no. you, so you have, he has these kind of episodes once, maybe once a month or so where he's out and. He's out with my boys. I'm with uh, friends. And, and he'll be out with his friends and he'll, I'll get a call or a text or by the way, not even at all. I'll just see him when I get home at the end of the night. It's 2 a.m. And he'll tell me about these people that are out with their friends drinking and they're making fun of him or they're like, just like bullying him or something. And I, I, one, I say to I've him. Cr- I cried. I, I he, cried that he, night. He did that night. One, I say to him, call me earlier so I can come there and literally, violence is not the answer, beat the fucking snot out of these people <laughs> until they're, they're, they're not breathing on their own accord. I'm not fucking around, dude, okay? Violence is not the answer. Just call me earlier. Two, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? If you see a dwarf and any, you any make fun of that person- Any person with a disability. Or any disability- your your life is meaningless. It's void of meaning. You have no reason to be here. I don't know let how me, else to. Me, fu- I don't know how else to fucking say is that. Is it? Uh, is it? Were they making direct fun of you? Because there's a yes, word that yes. triggers you, and it's kid, right? When people call you a kid yes. out. Well, yeah, yeah. No, but it was worse than that. What were they calling you that night? Well, they also calling me Tyrion. Who's the Game of Thrones character yeah, played by Peter Dinklage? People I know would be like, "Whoa, he's a badass!" Blah blah blah. Like that's not the point. 
This principle of the fucking matter is like that he's calling me Tyrion and I let it slide. I let some motherfucker slide too. Like, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to say anything for my boys. And like I saw him walk by. Motherfucker had an audacity to say it two, three more times. And like he looked back to me and we looked at him in the eyes and he went, oh. And when he went, oh, <laughs> I knew he wasn't just doing it for jokes. I knew yeah, he didn't want yeah. me to hear that. Because he didn't, didn't want to own it. That. He wasn't trying to own and it. And then I went, yeah. oh, I call you, you mother. Like, I went. And then you, did you get dude. kicked out? Huh? No, I didn't get kicked out. <laughs> then the cop across the street was yelling at me. <laughs> Why was he yelling at you? Because um, I guess, again, don't know the context of the situation. Junk buffoon up, junk dwarf outside of the bar, yelling at someone trying to start shit. They don't know the context of the situation. You do get pretty stand. belligerently drunk sometimes. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Accidentally, okay? Like, yeah. Because I don't like mixed drinks because they, they fuck up my stomach. Mm -hmm. It really, it's sour. All that sour. Nothing, it's not good. You can um, drink a lot. You can hang. Yeah, I can hang. Yeah, you can definitely hang. Yeah. Can we talk about sex? Woo! <laughs> oh, shit. Evan comes up to me yesterday. He's like, hey, man, <clears throat> like, am I allowed to talk about my sex life on your show? I was like, please. That's incredible. Um, yeah! <laughs> so I don't even know where, where, to, where to start that. with this. Like, yeah, what, what's, I, I, what's your preference? What what type of girl do you like? Women, for sure, to start. I have a women. Ooh, okay. All right. Um, I guess I could go the high road. A girl with a good personality. Evan, Why don't you shut your fucking mouth, <laughs> Evan? <laughs> all right. All right. Wait, um, what did you say? A girl with a good personality. No, he he. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yo, yo, please, yo, yo. I like girls with shitty personalities. That's what I like. Come on, Evan. Talk to me. What's your preference? So I get I get a lot of people asking me if I would ever date a uh, little person. That's the question. And, yeah, no, that's what I just said. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. no, it's not. <laughs> Anyways, and um, I would have to say no. I just don't find them attractive. I don't physically find them attractive. My chemicals in my brain don't find me attractive. It's not that I think you're terrible people. I just don't find you attractive. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Same with. Any other person you'll find any other person attractive. It's just not, it's not like we don't like you. It's just that chemicals in our brain don't fire off. Not, yeah, fire off. Yep. So I guess my ideal girl would be anywhere five, eight. <sighs> five, eight, still pushing it. You want like a Milan runway model. Yeah, yeah you're that's, talking that's about tall. Five, eight. That's a stallion. That's, five, eight. that's tall. That's a tall that's girl. Stallions, bro. Yeah. I mean, five seven, five seven. It's I mean, yeah. No, five Any seven, five seven is max. Okay, all right. Five, like min, five seven's minimum. Like in that no, five. Yeah, Danny's five, five ten. Five foot seven's maximum. Oh, I would go in height. Five ten. Yeah, like five nine. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the maximum I would go in height. Obviously, I don't want to date anyone taller because that's. I don't even want to date anyone taller than five nine. And yeah. I'm six three. Yeah, just, I've, I've 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 gone on dates with a few girls that were like six one, and I'm gross. just like, and they're like eye to eye. Have you ever dated a girl that tall? Big old broads. Big old. <laughs> 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 you know if you're listening, you big old broad, you big old broad. <laughs> that will all forever be the funniest fucking thing. The thing is, they laugh at it too, but I say it all the time, so I'm like, you're just a big old bro. Woo! Mm. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating up, but Evan, how often are you having sex with chicks who are average height? Not often at all. It's not because you can't, though. The reason it's not because I can't. Evan is a lover. You Evan are, is a major, a major, major, major lover. He does not want one-offs. He does not want. I'm with you, bro. Weekend fuckery. He wants the real fucking deal. He is a a romantic lover. But you did in college, correct? You had hookups. You had a girlfriend who was who was. I went average height. Never had a girlfriend. But um, who's the blonde hair girl that I met in? Was it my girlfriend? Oh, well, right, let's suck my. Ass. We just we just had a thing. Yeah. But um, yes, I had a lot of things in college because college is real. Everybody's got it's the easiest fucking place. It's the easiest yeah. place to hook up. I'm sorry. It, girl, you know it's true. It's the easiest place to hook up. Come on. And, uh, That's wait, all you wait, can But do. you went back to your college recently. Yeah. Did you get action? No. He didn't have a fun trip, right? That was supposed to be the trip of the is, century. It's just... I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to yeah, be. No. But I guess I, it's been like so long since I've lived that life to where I was just like, this ain't for me. Really? You moved on? I was like, this ain't for me. Like, it was nice to see my boys. Don't get me wrong. I fucking miss my boys. Love them. Love them to death. My boys will always come to mourn. But other than that, I was just like... 
You're maturing, Evan. <laughs> that and like some of these girls are just like, again, not to be mean, it's it it disgusting. Dust? It, would you call them dusty? <laughs> yeah, dusty, dusty little dusty. runts. Yeah, and it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, when, dusty like, little like, runts. like, like, <laughs> like. I, I didn't even know what we were talking about. I, don't know. I just came. Out I don't know if I can say mouth. this. But I was. I had a text. If, if you kind of, kind of like, like, like when that twenty year old made out with Mike. Which one? Which one? <laughs> Which one? She had dusty. Can I say that? Oh, no. Yeah, of course. The, no, the twenty-year-old that that's, made out with you. That's legal. Which one? Where's that? Who's that? You said which one? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I make out twenty-year-olds every fucking question. week, bro. That's my that's my literal prime. Young girls love Mike. Yeah, it's my prime go-to because I'm twenty myself mentally. Very my true. Goat, that's I my go-to. But who is? Are you calling me a dusty runt now? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No, I just... I'll say it. You're uh, Dusty Run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, fair enough. Yeah, you're Dusty Run. Right? Never yeah, thought speak, I'd ever say that in speak, my life. Speaking of Dusty Little Runs, I do want to ask this question before it's too late. Who would you say, you know, this is average and height related, who would you say is your best friend in the house these days? <laughs> Honestly, Raya. No, I'd be... Human, human, <laughs> human, human. <laughs> It's just very height because with the whole Evan and I got in a fight the other day and it, and it, like a week passed of us like not talking. <laughs> literally, and, we, and just, <laughs> we just really went, Logan? The first time like, we ever said anything, we were just like, we stared at each other from across the way and I was like, Evan? <laughs> <laughs> I literally said it reply this, Logan. <laughs> we, didn't, we, didn't, we literally didn't laugh. Are you guys- like, We uh, just kept walking. Are you guys as close as you used to be now? Physically? No, just like <laughs> as, <laughs> as friends. Honestly, I would say no. I don't think so. What's what's the hold up? I, ever since I would say we moved into the house, really, which is interesting because you you'd expect the opposite. It's a heartbreaker because I think at the W we literally lived across the room from each other. Like we always saw like, each other. W- waking up was the first thing you saw coming out of yep. each yep. other's room. Was each other. There's so much space here. So much space. I got my own area. You got your own area. It's just like you literally all- have the whole wing of the house to yourself. Literally the whole wing, yeah. and it's like I got everything I need in my room. Well, that's the issue. Yeah. That like, is the issue. I'm just gonna very say, bad. Yeah. Very bad. Like, what if, if we you, removed the video games from your room and put them in a different room? Find me a room that doesn't smell like pig shit, no, dog no. shit. Impossible. It's impossible. Well, and most importantly, it has Wi Fi that it, supports your game. It has Wi Fi so Listen, I can actually play the games. We got 1G on the way. Though. I will say this. We're in the fucking bunker of. And nuclear warfare? I don't know. I will say what? this, and I didn't want to tell you this. I wanted you to find out after, but your um, your your Xbox and PlayStation have been removed from your room during this podcast. They are they're gone. Yeah, I, mean, I think if you here. I think if you uh, came down more and just interacted with everyone else, bro, 100%. the friendship okay. would oh. be firing. It's true. <laughs> so, funny there that you go. say that. Funny that you say that. Like, get ready. Here we go. <laughs> when I do come down and interact. What is it mainly? Uh, I'll be you, Evan. Hey, Logan. Uh, okay. Logan. What's, uh, you want to do that skit uh, that we've been talking about lately? What is it? The one where, because we got the cars that we were going to drive. I see what's happening. I see. The car, remember the. What? No, which one? The cars that we were going to, yeah, we got all the cars, we lined them up because I have time oh, to. Oh, yeah. It's a good question. All right, all right, all right. Let me, let me, let me counter. <laughs> <laughs> let me counter this. Let me counter this. Is that, is that not what he does? Hold on, hold on 100%. Good question. Hold on he goes, second. good question. Hold on a second. And it's just like, gone. All right, I'm going to, no, no, don't no. talk then to my says, friends or my game stations to actually this. talk to No, then, he, then when he finally pays attention, this is what he says. Hi, big girl. Hi, big girl. And then he's gone. I love my dog, Ginger. Here's why. Here's why. I'm, uh, I'm. Preoccupied, I'm busy always, till, till about two, two to three p.m. every day. Work out till noon, right, right at the podcast. So let's say I have a window from three to eight during the daytime. Um, I'm working. If you come down, what you do for five to ten minutes Wait, at a time? Three, three to eight, you're working. Yeah. Okay. Typically, and then I try to cool my brain off from like eight to midnight. Right. If you come down for five to ten minutes at a time, which is this, that's the window we get. Yeah. There's a solid I do that. fucking chance. I do that. But that's what I'm saying. There's a solid chance yeah, that I am those mid grind mode. Yeah. And as much as I love you, if I'm in the midst of something, bro, I can't compartmentalize. Everything is focused on the one endeavor or one thing I'm doing at that time. Like before, I couldn't start this podcast and talk about and get briefed on it until I posted the last podcast. I just can't like yeah. one thing needs to be finished we, and then on to the next. We did talk to Hobson about this yesterday. And Hobson told us about this great relationship that he had 
that he lost because every time the girl said, hey, can I talk to you? He said, I'm in the fucking studio right now. I can't be bothered with this bullshit. And he lost one of his best friends in the world because he was always grinding, 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 grinding. And we know what the results of grinding, 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 grinding can be. What did, what, what did I tell you, Logan, when we got, before we got in at the end of that fight? Oh, so we're going here. Because, he said, because, because said, I said it. I said it because it needed to be said. And but, I, like, but then I do want to say my response to that to what okay, you said. Okay. Evan said he goes, if you keep acting like this in five years, you're not going to have any friends. And I said, you're probably right. Unfortunately, Which, I be, I have made the sacrifice that my goal and desire to create content for the world is like that's like that is my number one, bro. Like I am here. I am here as a servant to humanity to entertain and distract them and make them happier and make them laugh. I okay, think, so that's why. I, yeah, I think, that's why me and you will. We're best friends, obviously. Um, we're very great connection when it comes to humor, and some societal based things, but. Our minds are completely different. I agree. Completely uh, different. Exa exhibit like, A. Like, I asked literally. 100% different. I asked you, I go, what's your goal in life? What's your purpose? Why don't you say it? Do you Mine remember was, what you said? Yeah, the find love. Find love. I could give a fuck. I literally could get, I, I want to take over. You want to fall yeah. in love and have a, correct? Have a family, yeah, have I a love, kid. I love caring for people. I love just. No matter how seeing tight, people's... no matter how tight your focus is on one thing, on winning, an unbalanced life is a failure of a life. It always will be. Everyone will tell you the most important thing in life is balance. Is balancing your work, I your drive, I your friends, your disagree. family. Nikola Tesla died a virgin, never fell in love. Sucks for Nikola him. Nikola Tesla. Sucks for He's him. Nikola Tesla. Praise Nikola Tesla. He Tesla changed had the world. Terrible, he changed batteries. He had a he terrible life. He, he died an unhappy, broke man. You know that for a fact? Yeah, we, it's a known fact. Nah, bro. You just you, said no, he died. You, you called his life meaningless. No, no, no. Based no, on no, the rationale no, no. you just fuck, said, fuck, Nikola Tesla's life was meaningless. Don't base on rationale and then use a word that's not tied into it. I said he li he lived an unfulfilling life, okay? If you die without doing the things that are important in this life and finding balance, your life will have well, been unfulfilled. Well, I think what you're assuming, though, is what balance means. I agree with you. I think yeah, yeah. you have to have balance, but in terms of some people, actually, their balance is... They they know their purpose is like entertaining the world or inventing inventing all the you know things that humanity needs and to them that's what brings their passion out and their happiness. I, I also I, so the I, balance I has to it. be jaded to that activity. I get so, it, but I also and you're right, one hundred percent. But I also think he that's he uses a lazy out with this. Okay, I'll tell you why. I grind all fucking day too. I have 15 different fucking thousand things going on. Jo jobs here, consulting here, podcasts here, vlogs here, content creative, all these things. If Evan comes to me and he says, I'm having a really tough time with something right now and I'm about to post something or I'm working on something, computer closes, I walk out of that room and I go with Evan to take care of him because he's my friend. That is balance. Then I walk back out and I get I'll back to- thing. I'll do the same thing. And I have every single time in the past for the past four years. I have. There's not been a single time How, where Evan's come up to me and wants to talk about something where I don't. What's his attention span? Until he's fucking satisfied. And you can't tell me otherwise. What did he say you to you? can't, bro. What did he say to you? I mean, I, if you have a problem and you're feeling uneasy about something, I'm 100% there for you. What did he say to you at Coachella? Yeah, I would say that. What did he say to you at Coachella when you were telling him why you were crying? I mean, like, if we're going to get no, into it, no, we're not saying what, that. let's start over. What did he say to Co at Coachella to you while you were crying? Oh, then again, if we're getting into it, it's not me getting into it. It's him getting into no, it. I'm just I asking. Any of this These up. are the questions He's the one because this is a therapy this. session. I want to I want to work on he it. He said, honestly, man, I'm getting bored. I had been talking to you for two hours, bro. Oh, I would say 10 minutes max. <laughs> 10 minutes like max. Five, minutes. five to 10 <laughs> five minutes, minutes max. max. Because I had been with him and I left you guys alone for a few minutes. And you said, honestly, man, I'm getting bored. Not true. Not absolutely not true. I exaggerated. I was I was talking we to you for an hour. Three, I had or two I, I, I was talking to you for an hour. I had people begging, tugging me by my shirt. Logan, when are we doing this? When are we doing this? I'm like, yo, Evan needs to talk to me right now. No one was in the room. It was just me and you and Mike. No, people would walk in, walk out. You know how many texts I was getting saying, Logan, we need you. But Logan, they were like, but this thing? is the thing. This is the thing with grinding. And by the way, I'm using Evan as a as a vehicle for my own issues too no i, I like I, so i like I, what's I happening just, here, by like, the way I, let's I keep to, it i have to heavily disagree bro that i without without sounding like evan needed any of this 
the amount of things I've done for him, the list is very, of course, very, of course. He knows, very he, fucking long, he my knows, friend. He knows that, and I know very that. Very fucking and long. And everyone knows that. So that's everyone. what I'm saying. Tread lightly when you say, like, I'll put, I'll close my laptop and, and like, well, yeah, hey, good for you, it? buddy. Do you know why he's out here in oh, LA pursuing lo- his lo- dreams? No, but allow me to defend stop, myself stop, stop, when stop, he's stop, done. Stop, you once said in life, um, you done a lot for me, yes. You done a lot for me. Um, there's a fine line between doing a lot and being there for someone. Um, you once when I called you when I thought I lost my Rolex, that was one of the hardest things I could have done. I had to do. I thought when I thought I lost it. Why? What did you say to me when I told you um, I lost it? I was like, great, like that's no problem. You don't care about material objects. For context, it was a Rolex that I bought you. You don't you, care about and, material objects. And you were afraid what, to tell me that you lost what, the thing what, that I bought you. What do you describe as a materialistic object? Like in your mind, what is a materialistic object? I will uh, specify and say any sort of high luxury item, such as a Rolex okay. or a car or a house. I could give two shits if you give me a Rolex a place, I guess, I'm not giving, I shouldn't say I give two shits. Right, you're thankful. I'm very thankful. Yeah. I'm very thankful. But I would rather have you be there for me at the end of the day than for you to give me a Rolex. Yeah, and which- 100%, I, which, 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 which you don't, which you don't know the fine line between feelings, emotions, pretty, pretty much friendship, like not, I want to say friendship, but like almost, like-, like if, if you're going to make a blanket statement this big, I'm going to need you to back it up and elaborate. If you're gonna say something like that, I need you to back it up. No, you've been there for me. Yeah, talk, every dude. fucking time. Yeah, every time. But like, if we want to go back get, to the Coachella but situation also, also, specifically, but no, no, but you were there. You were there. But what the fuck did you say at the end? Honestly, man, I'm getting bored. How does you think that makes someone feel who's already down and out? How do you think that makes someone feel by shitting on them any, even more? Can I? Can I? Because, because, no, because, because you don't go fucking care because you don't have emotions. But for someone who does have emotions, bro, <laughs> calm down. For someone who does have emotions, who's already down and out, this is something like suck the fuck up. This is boring me. Like, can bro, I, you can't say that to someone who's down. Can I ask a question? I would love. I would love most people's opinions, and I would because lo- this is this is where this gets tricky for me. I'm at a serious crossroads with how much time I dedicate to someone if they're feeling down and out, if I don't see shit flipping in their mind. If I provide every solution and every possible remedy that I can and they still don't see the light, how long am I going to sit there and wait for you to get your shit together when I am surrounded by 50 people at Coachella who are all waiting on me to do something? Mm-hmm. An event that I spent X th- tens of thousands of dollars on because I went there to have fun, not worry about, we can believe this if you want, how, you losing, which by the way, I offered to pay for. Like, I, like how much time do I devote to someone before I'm like, I honestly have a life to live, you, Evan, you, especially you, when I remedied every single Thing that you said, I gave you the same solution ten times, and they're good ones, by the way. I'm if you listen to what I say, bro, I'm a I am a people person. I understand people very well, but there's a point where I sort of like, for lack of better verbiage, I give up. I'm like, I've done everything. I'm bored. I, I and maybe that's part of my problem is that I'm literally too honest and too candid. Like I'm harsh, dude. I'm really harsh, and. Yes, something I have to work on. Absolutely. The way I think the way I communicate how I'm feeling, but like quite honestly, when I tap out, what's the point of me buttering the biscuit and being like, "Hey man, like I, I got yesterday I got stuff yesterday to do. hold on, let me let me get one thing in here. Yesterday for example, and and this is the biggest takeaway and and cuz I think the biggest thing here is like what are the action items coming out of it? We had a therapy session like let's let's take good action items coming out of it. Yes, yesterday for example, you're you're right. You're 100 percent right. You do more for this kid than than probably anyone, and and no one will ever take that away from you. It's it, not me. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Yesterday was a was a good example of it. You know his situation where he isn't always like feeling the best, or like ha- he's like he's in his room. He he feels kind of depressed, and like like let's let's bring this example outward a little bit to people that might be in your life that are feeling depressed or like isolated or whatever. 
when they make a final attempt or an attempt to come out and rejoin the, the group, even though you had made time for them earlier and they might not have been feeling up to it, make time again when they finally do come out of the room. So he, so yesterday you said, Evan, I'm ready to have this meeting now. He wasn't ready for whatever reason. Do you know the reason? For what, he was playing video games. Why is he playing video games? Maybe he's depressed. Maybe he likes that feeling of being isolated. Who knows? What I would have done yesterday is when he came out and said, can we talk now about tomorrow's episode with a disability? And you said, um, I have to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm out of, I'm done with this right now. I'm on something else. I would have, this is just a small tweak. That's not your personality. I'm just making a small note. I would have been like, you know what? I'm going to go inside myself right now to make the time for Evan, to make him feel included and, and make him start to feel like he's part of the unit again, because it sometimes takes just a little kickstart with someone who's feeling excluded or feeling depressed or whatever to get them to start feeling better and making the right strides. I, I hear you. You're right. I hear you. Um, I, I will say the, the level of clockwork that I'm operating on every day. Like if I am forced to wait 10 to 20 minutes or something, it's tough for me, man. It's tough. Like 10 to 20 minutes is a lot of time you, for you me. You also doing- expect me, expecting me to drop everything I did. It doesn't matter if I'm playing game, video games. It could be like literally editing the video. I could be like, wait 10 minutes. It could be literally anything. If it's not at your moment, at that time, at that moment, when I'm in my grind, I'm in this grind, and it's never at the right time. Like it's not for that. It's like, oh, I'm on something else. Like in 10 minutes, you're literally on something else. You literally couldn't take five like just wait five minutes five ten minutes just to be be like okay you know i didn't give him a heads up you know i kind of just put this on him didn't give him a heads up because that's what you do you don't give a heads up you expect did we give him a heads up i think we did i think we texted him 30 minutes earlier and said evan please come down to the dinner table we're, we want to talk about this I, thing. I, I we waited, we waited a half hour. So, so hour. From, from mac i don't get that text. i don't know if you're paying attention my friend mac he's known me since elementary school one of my best friends, he said, the hardest thing about living in this house right now is operating on your schedule. Like everything operates around your schedule. And unfortunately, bro, that's just the way things tick right now. And also I have zero sympathy for waiting for video games if you're not making money or a career out of it. Absolutely zero. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I, get, I, 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 get, I get that, I get that that's, too. That's what I was going to say from, Lo- from Logan's perspective. Yeah, I yeah. think like, like what Mike was getting at from a productive standpoint, where's the... V- value in the or the purpose behind the video games and like not quite honestly spencer i don't know what the fuck to do with my life dude what, what you, i'm yeah, lost I'm, as fuck and when i go i just have to take a break. yeah you're good bro. Right, it's fine come on bro no dude embrace it bro this is tough for me yeah, this is a real episode this is really tough do you want to just get off of it or like push off of it mm. something else I can't say I didn't see this happening. Did I mean, anyone I think, not see this happening? Well, I, just drove I think this there, is this is good though, man. It's crazy. It's crazy to me how much, um, just like living here, I have never seen this happen. I've seen it so I, he because he calls me. He calls me. Well, just I mean, I think it's crazy to see how much emotions are are underneath. Like One we see t- people walking by every day. Everybody's hey, what's up? But like, is that? A bunch of shit going I've, on underneath I, the surface. Bro, this is not uncommon to me. I've, yo, as much as you can say, you know, you know, Evan, and you do. We all know Evan. Yes, we all yes, love yes, Evan. Yes, bro, yes, yes. No, I have been best friends sure. with this kid for, for sure. four for plus sure. five. Yeah. 27 years? Six years? Six years, yeah. I know the kid like the back of my fucking hand, bro. And just recently, there's this thing where, but honestly, bro, I feel so bad to save it. Say it. Like, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. Like, I, I don't know what to do anymore. Or how much more I think the can biggest, I help I think Evan the, before I'm like? Yeah, I think one of uh, the one of the things that is tough about this is sometimes helping isn't like giving something to someone. It's taking some things away or moving things or you know f- putting that p- like am that I, person am I in enabling? a position. Is that what you're saying? Do I enable him to sit in his room? You might be. Yeah, maybe. Million million may, you may might be in the second biggest room in the house. If I, if, I, if I started doing that, I know because like I haven't known you long enough in comparison to Evan or anybody else. Like if I started doing that and and taking up that real estate and not you know being a part of the team, like you know, I w- I wouldn't be su- too surprised if you were like, hey man, like you go do that somewhere else. So go, I think, go do what? Go get another apartment. 
Like I've never did, said that. I've I know, never but, had that, and right. I w- and I would never. By the which way, which I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying because yo, I believe, I, and maybe this is, maybe this is like selfish in a way. Like I told you, bro, my number one goal: create content for the world. That's the shit I want to do, and that's what I know Evan can do, and I know he can change mm-hmm. the world because yeah, that's I think a, we all that's a that. talented fucking kid, bro. Absolutely, and no one believes in him more than me, mm-hmm. and I want him to see that, and I'm pushing him. I I convince him to move to LA so he could do that. We just have to find the fuel that he can put in his tank I think, to achieve what he wants to do. Let's get him back on. Yeah. All right. There I think, we go. I think like, yeah. I think my one, my one note on that too. And, and by the way, let's, let's change back. Cause we had an important topic today or not. I don't care. But I think the one note on that would be, there are times in life where, it might, like I said, it might just take a 0.05% twist of your main objective to seriously impact someone else's life in a positive way. Not enough to even get you 10 less views on a vlog. It might just be the way you address him. It might just be the way you right. say the things you say. Well, it's about him. compromise, right? So it's like, you're, you're explaining Logan's situation. I think we're, we already handled that. Like, I think all of us have areas to grow, but I, I, Ev, first off, like, it's good for you to to express that. And I think the reason why, the reason why I asked it is because like, bro, we're all lost at some point in our lives. Like all of us, like month to month, there's time within that month where you're like, what the hell am I doing? All of us. Like, and and if you're saying no, it's just not true. All the time. That's, that's humanity. So like for you to be talking about this, like, don't feel weak because it's okay to address that. And I know we're on the podcast, but I feel like that can really help people, man, to, for us to Sorry. to figure out why <laughs> you're feeling those things. I just don't things. like doing this type of shit on cameras. Yeah, I, I feel. really don't. It's just, same, thing, same thing with vlogging. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the thing in life, I think, is a line in life where it's to turn off and shit off the cameras. And this is one point I think to shut off the cameras is no, I don't like. I think it's hard to talk things like this on camera because it's too real for me. And I don't think we get. Why are you looking Because this was your fault. I, 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 I didn't I don't know it was going to go this deep. I don't, think we, I don't think we get to the, I don't think we actually get to the point of reason when, when the camera's in the face. You don't really get to the point. Because you got I people would, watching and it's like, you got to entertain them and you got to like... But think I forgot, about, shit, yeah, I forgot the cameras were there. You don't have to think, about, think about yeah. this though. You could be right. I'm not taking it away from yeah, you. Yeah. But also, I think that's the thing about vlogging and all these other mediums is that the podcast gives us the ability to be real and people can listen, listen in on that because if all these people that are watching only watch vlogs, like they're not getting anything real. So like if they're watching right now, people are strapped in. Like they're yeah, down to learn from this situation really as listen, we are too. Really and by the way, I, the I I will say Any like I, I am I am confident that the majority of people, it, look please comment below will side with you on this. And and Mike's absolutely right. My abrasiveness and that that fire in me is like almost it. it it might be too big of a fucking fire right now. And I don't know if it's my age. I don't know if it's like, because I'm boxing now and I'm just like fired up all the time, but I, and maybe I need to go to therapy to no, figure out why I don't, I don't, so. like, I mean, I don't know. Listen, you've just seen, you've just seen, it's not a fire. It's just, you've seen what that confrontational vibe in life has done to your relationships in other places. And they're the same relationships that I've talked about trying to fix since I came on. You have a very clashing, abrasive personality at times, at times. And it's what leads to our on-air arguments. It's what, like, it just, it's just how it is. The biggest learning here is just that for the people that are watching or listening to relate to is if you know someone in your group, a friend of yours, a family member is struggling and you, and, and even if the thought in your mind is, oh my God, they have everything they could ever want in life. Uh, their life should be so good. Why do they just play video games? Why do they sleep all day? Why do they not go out? Understand that mental health and understand that those issues in life are not always so easy to put a finger on. People are going through things and it might not be as easy 
for Logan or for Spencer who are headstrong, like very, very well thought out individuals to understand. But people like me and people that deal with certain levels of mental health problems understand what it's like to feel like you're under a blanket of grim energy or negativity or depression or anxiety. And I also on the flip side know what a couple positive or kind words from someone you love can do for your fucking day. And so if there is someone that you know that's suffering or is doing anything, just playing too much video games or sleeping too much, adjust the way you're talking to them. Being good to someone is giving something. That's giving something of yourself. That means 1% of your career might go to 1% of helping your best friend be better. Is that worth it to you? Not you, but is it worth it to anyone watching or listening? 1%, you may not get a thousand views over what you would have got, but your friend may want to live his life better. Is that worth it? I don't want to pick apart your sentence. Did you say yeah. give one second? No, 1%. Like, just like, like, or what on top of what you're already getting, like, or, or whatever. All I'm saying is just a slight give adjustment. The, give them the energy. To a like slight defending. adjustment might have such a large For Evan effect. Specifically, I think he might more than typical feel unseen and then to not feel seen by his best friend maybe hurts like a little, mm. a little extra. Tying that back to well, I mean, you. But also, the, again, not, not, not be it's seen. Not, it's not personally not, not, not to attack. So you know, Evan, but like, this is literally a ten minute window where I, I do have to take his side on this. You, you, the biggest thing you can do, and I know, and and forgive me here for going against people who isolate based on their to make them feel better. It, the the best thing you can do is stop isolating. Yeah. I, I promise you that if you come out and spend time with us, we will build you up. I promise you that. I I, yeah. I definitely will. I love spending time with you. I love spending time with you. But I can't do that if you're in your room playing video games. I think you. I'm going to back out. You guys finish up. But I think the best way to go back here, back to where we were, is to bring it back to mental health problems based on people with disabilities and how, they're pro how there's probably a large amount of people with disabilities and dwarfism and those kind of problems dealing with depression and anxiety. But we could for a second. I mean, Evan, Evan, just like, like as a friend, where, where, how do you feel right now? You feel like kind of stable or you do not want to go back there. Do you want to move the conversation forward? Is there a direction you want to go right now? Cause I, I have a lot on my mind still, but. You just asked me like 30 different questions. Answer all of them right now. I'd rather talk this out more after the podcast. Okay. I don't think it's done. Okay. I think I would like to get off of it though. Okay. Let's Respect. Play yeah. Are you really, should we do like a segment? That? I mean, I can switch the energy <laughs> real quick. If you want to do a fucking segment, we'll do no, a fucking no, 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 segment. No, 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 Let's go back to the... Uh, Handy. Dwarfism. Dwarfism. And the mental sure. health. So like Mike was saying, um... <clears throat> <clears throat> mental well, health. Was that, right that was a funny noise. That was amazing. That was a really funny I gotta, I gotta I, jump I, in. I, 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 I gotta I, jump I, in I, and I, take I, his side on that one. That was ridiculous. It sounded like a small penis shot out of your mouth. It was ridiculous. Or you were I'm doing just, like I'm a just screaming, that man. Just like. screaming. It was like yeah, doing like a high jump. But it's <laughs> not <laughs> 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 like you were striking vipers. Oh, here, here's a here's a question I I was thinking about earlier because you were you were mentioning a lot of these things that um, dwarves go through, and with technology coming out, something we were talking about the other day is that there's actually. Uh, advancements in what it, like cellular technology that they can eliminate dwarfism is that something that's possible and if so would you advocate for that <laughs> first off that's not possible at all because it's that's like saying you can stop someone having down syndrome you, have, you can stop someone having autism well they I, might, I might, they I might they're working on that yeah. that's going to be possible in the next Genetic decade or yeah. two right let's, let's let's see how it works out like probably right. won't. Probably it's probably let's see how it works maybe before arms. I think they're making pretty good ground coverage. Yeah. There. Uh, let's it, let's just say. What let's, is it are they really? I don't know that much about it. What's yeah. it called? Though? Yeah, they are. Stem, is it stem cell? Stem cell. Based? Stem cell. Yeah. yeah there's yeah. all sorts. So they're of actually stuff. putting. I know stem cell research. Like I know about that. I didn't know that. Like well, they're able to eliminate. With, uh, yeah, they're it, yeah, they're able to eliminate a lot of those types of things. So if technology could eliminate dwarfism, would you advocate for that, or do you think dwarfism is something that like a pride thing? Right. 
I think I would advocate it. Mm, well, would. what advocate Why? the technology? Yes. Um, knowing what I went through as a kid, mm. whole life. Yeah, someone with it. <sighs> you're good. Hey, you're bro. good. Don't bro. fight it off. You're good, dude. Bro. Just embrace that. Yeah, just own embrace it. Bro. You that got that shit. shit. Just like you would be able to avoid those. Those. Even I was fortunate. The child, dude, stop for real. Hold on, give me, give me a moment. Right, take, a, take, a take, a take a minute. Why don't we all go run around the backyard for two minutes? <laughs> you can take a second. It's okay. Let's, let's take a break. Can we, can we cough for a second? Is that an option? Just stay on the set. Okay. Yeah, sure. Should I have sex with that girl again? Is that a thing? Oh, by the way, we didn't cover that. But can we, we talk about that? It might, gonna, might be a horrible time. But no, 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 no. I really no. Love to talk when about it, it should be. Can I? Can I change this? This might. This might no, alleviate no. the mood. Yes, yes. Right he now? said yes. He nodded at me. That's all I need. Fuck yeah! All right, all right. Easy. easy. We didn't talk about it in the prelim at the beginning. Right. But I was like, Yo, Dylan, if you saw the last <laughs> episode, I was like, Yo, Dylan, like you, like we know you had sex in the back house during the party, like. And everyone thought it was the girl you came with, like a girlfriend or something. And, I, and he, he informed us that like, no, it's, he had just met the girl. Like he walked up to her at the bar, like, yo, what's good? I was like, that's dope. Like, what's, what's her name? Well, and he's like, well, she's cute. You know, she's cute. She's hot, skinny, brunette. Pr pretty girl, brunette. I was like, great, Dylan, what's her name? And he's like, well, I think like Mike might've like hooked up with her in the past. And Mike's like, oh, I don't no. know. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> and like, there's a good chance. There's a good chance, right? Especially if you slept with her that quickly, like that tends to be. <laughs> Sure the way to go ass. for this one. But uh <laughs> minus Amanda that we talked about at the beginning. Um was it her? Well well no, Mike. So I was like, yo, Dylan, what's what's the name of this girl? Finally he told me again, it, right? arbitrary name. Let's use No, no, don't 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 don't, don't, don't use that. Let's use name on this Michelle, bro. Okay, fine, no, fine. I, that's why I said arbitrary name. Okay. Let's use Michelle. He's like, oh, it's Michelle. And I was like, oh my God, because indeed Mike had hooked up with her in the past. We're like, y'all are Eskimo brothers. Right. The issue is wow. by past like an hour before you did at the same party uh, in his bed. Do you re fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh no. Yep. no. yep. Do you re no. this is and by the way, no one knows this except Logan. Everyone is in complete and utter shock right now in the whole fucking studio. Oh, no. If you watch the post party podcast, you would have heard me talk about a girl that I had hooked up with in the first 10 minutes of the party. That was her! That was her! <laughs> that was fucking her! Okay. Oh. That is that is. Oh my Sloppy God. seconds on a level unbeknownst to man. She literally walked out of my bedroom, door open sex, you remember that, had a few more drinks and went and banged the impulsive producer <laughs> in the fucking back house. What the fuck is good? Yo, look at Dylan. Michelle. Right <laughs> Michelle. What Dang. is good, Michelle? It's Yo, if, the, if it's too easy, there's gotta be something going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Yeah. Ah, God. Dang, you, are, yeah, so are you gonna go get that checked out? I go take it in. No, but you know what? You both should. She is hot. She is hot. She's she is hot. hot. Yeah, but she's fucking hot. Okay, we got past she's that. Hot. But are, are you are you guys getting it checked out? <laughs> I, I'm not. I, I I'm on the. <laughs> well, if you don't, if you don't get checked for an STD, that, you, that, you that, never get an STD. That, I make that joke, but that's not why. The last time we went for an STD, uh, the last time we went for an STD check, they said, "Do you have any symptoms?" And I was like, "No." And they were like, "Why the fuck are you here?" I don't forgive me if I'm leaving out like one or two SEDs, but I you most SEDs produce some sort of symptom. So if your dick feels so fresh and so clean, which mine does right now, I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. I don't know how else to say it. You got a fresh, but that's dick. crazy. That's, that's crazy. I was worried I was gonna hurt your feelings. Hell no, I don't have any feelings, that's bro. Well, yeah, you do. I do. I do. do. Everybody feelings. does. Yeah, I do. I Everybody actually do have feelings, but not with, her. not with her. <laughs> not with her. I, my, Mike. So, so that's why when when you said her name, I jumped up and started cheering because yeah. I'm like, yeah, like Eskimo Bros, like double decker. What? Uh, double I was so decker. excited that you had both hooked up with the same girl, and the mic comes up to me, whispers in my ear. He's like. Remember that girl that I hooked up with in the like first ten minutes title, of the party? Like, in general, like, like she, well, but also maybe shout out to her, bro. Like most, of, mainly dudes are running it like that, and the fact that she just flips the system on its head and just some, takes down all the cocks at the party, like some, mad respect, Michelle. Something tells me, by the Y'all way, need Jesus. Something tells me, by the way, that Michelle, I, I could be. I could be wrong, but we probably weren't the only two at the party. Like I'm, uh, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing she probably. In general, or that day? That day at that party. No, guys, I have, so, I have something to tell you. Oh, it's just me and you? That's <laughs> guys, I have something to tell you. You're not going to believe it. No. 
<laughs> me and Michelle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny. <laughs> Oh, shit. Good times. Well, good All right, stuff. Now back to hardcore handicap conversations. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I hate everything about welcome this Welcome back to Impulsive, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck. HH edition. Hey, the, hardcore <laughs> handicap. There's, there's, a, there's a segment that Dylan put in here. It's called Turn the Tables. Yeah. Where you ask us questions. Ooh, yeah. Do you want to maybe do that? Yeah, I have a... Let's question. do a segment. I have a question for all y'all, then I have a question for y'all individually. Okay, great. All right, we're going to do a segment. It's called Turn the Tables. Turn the Tables. Tables are a big turn. All right. I'll start off by... It's the sound of tables. A turn. question for all y'all. But so... I'm sorry, I can't let you start this. Well, he just, he's has to do the sound I'm effect. I'm so sorry. Uh, he doesn't know the code. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's one. Know where it's let's at. do a shot. Nope, nope. Let's do, do let's do a segment. Let's do a segment. Let's do a segment. Here we go. Okay. Let's turn the tables. All right, go ahead. All right, so this question is for all y'all, but you can go like in order and answering. Um, how did you guys view or see people with dwarfism uh, as before? Like, okay. How did you guys view or see people with dwarfism as before meeting uh, or knowing who I was? Yeah, how'd you look at me? Love the question. So, uh, got lucky. There was a dwarf at my school named YL. He was Middle Eastern. He was fucking awesome. He was with me on the wrestling team. And he happened to be dope as fuck. Like, he was the kid at the school that made everyone laugh, everyone loved. And when I saw your videos online, on, on Vine, I think the reason I was so, like, attracted to your energy and your comedy was because I had grown up with it in, in the form of YL. Um, and it was familiar to me, and I thought it was funny, and I really liked it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Shout out YL. Uh, I, I'm trying to think if there's like one that sticks out to me, but I don't think there is. I think I may have. I, I'm the way I am is I'm try. I try my best to be good to everyone. Yeah. And but sometimes I will be completely honest here. I may have been good to people with handicaps or disabilities or or dwarfism because I subconsciously felt bad. Okay. I mean, that's not really a good that, thing to have, but... No, I get that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm saying it cautiously. Or not like cautiously, but like kind of like... What, what do you not like about that logic? Just curious. You should help me. You shouldn't feel bad for me. Right, right. Like... But don't you My think life it's like, is... Uh, it's like... Oh, like this sucks. Like... How do, you, how do you think that's gonna make me? That's I gonna never, make me feel less human than for you just like oh, help me. Sure, but, but I didn't make that. I, yeah, that was an outward that facing. Wasn't I wasn't like, oh, I'm. Like so, I was like, saw. I was like, yo, it's good. But partially because I was like, I feel like I have to do this with you. When I met you, it was very different because I was like, this dude has 2.1 million followers on Instagram and, you got and another two million on YouTube. And like I'm the fucking dwarf in this situation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I met you, I was like looking up at you and shit. You feel me? Yeah, I mean, I guess he kind of answered it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just being what about honest. you? I actually never was around anybody with dwarfism. The first time that I ever saw it, which is, which is, you guys might laugh, but oh, yeah. do you remember the show, Little oh. People, Big World? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. That was the first time that I was actually exposed to really? dwarfism. As yeah. I love that show. And, and it was a great show because it was like, great show. these people are living their life and they're killing it. They got to uh, to Hollywood. Yeah. Do Hollywood. Oh, really? <laughs> really? They did? They got, not like drugs, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. They just, egos got massive. Um, except, except, I would, no, I lied. Just the parents. The kids are oh, sweet as could be. Have you nice ever kids. mingled with any of them? Yes. Really? Yeah. Uh, Zach Roloff, we uh, actually compete sometimes against each other in the dwarf games. Oh, that's that's awesome. the little person that's in it. Hmm. But yeah, that show was, was really cool. And I thought, I love that show because it gave a different education. Yeah, to obviously people with disabilities. Yeah. So after wa after watching that show, I never really had any like. There was never a moment where I was like, "Oh, these people are han handicapped." I guess if that makes sense. Yeah. I didn't view it as a handicap. I was just like, "They're just born differently." Exactly, like, and they're making it. They're making the world as best as they could. Like, yeah, the they're dude crushing could, it. Could walk on crutches, but yet he can operate a hundred, two hundred thousand dollar worth. Yeah, worth of machinery. Like it's yeah. like he can still do the same thing as. Any other person could. Yeah. Can I, cool can, they I, their place. can I ask a question? I, uh, <clears throat> I'm going back on uh, to what I said about feeling bad. Yeah. And I know I'm not supposed to, right? Like that's one of the things you, you talk about is like, yeah. don't feel bad for me. I'm just, I'm average or, or I'm normal like everyone else. Right. Or average. not like average, like everyone else. Right. Oh well, no. average. Sorry. Never mind. You're normal. Just like everyone else is abnormal. You're abnormal <laughs> and normal. <laughs> right. Continue. 
is it, as long as I don't show it, is it weird that subconsciously I feel bad? Like, I know what you've gone through. I know what someone I with no sub- legs has I guess gone- subconsciously, you no. Know yeah. I guess subconsciously, no, yeah. But if you're, like, coming out being like, oh, like, I'm so, yeah, I would never, that, yeah. Like, that's, like, or, like, this is, this is also hard. When people, like, when, when I would go to, like, the YMCA or go play pickup basketball, pickup sports anywhere, people would either not guard me, they'd be, like, take it easy on him, or, like, things like that. And you don't want that. And I hate that. Yeah. I hate it when people are like, yo, we're not, we're gonna take it easy. But blue was like, no, no, just guard me how like you would guard any other person because I'm gonna guard you 20 times harder. Yeah. Trust me. Because you're gonna get pissed off at me because of <laughs> how hard I'm guarding you. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? Why is this dude taking so seriously? Because yeah. I'm not, I'm just like everyone else. Like, it's harder for me, but trust me, I could still beat your ass at the end of the day. Respect. What's the next question? Yeah, what you got? Uh, so I'm gonna start with Spencer. Oh. All right. Do you think there's a fine line between reality and positive negative energy? Mm. And what do you what do you mean particularly? Like, when someone says like this party is gonna suck, you're like, no man, like be positive, be happy. <laughs> and there's like ten people there, and you know it's gonna suck. Like, <laughs> yeah, I see what you're getting at. I think, like, yeah, I think like, like we've all, we've talked about like being a delusional optimist is. You can make that party lit. If there's 10 people and you're going into it with a bad mentality, there's no chance that that party's lit. Yeah, but if true. you're going in with a good, positive mindset, you might meet someone, you might figure you know, figure something out about yourself. Like There's always good that you can take from every situation. That's something I've learned. Like Every situation. There's horrible things that can happen. Like Horrible things that you don't know why they're happening to you. You have no idea what it means. But you can always take good from it. So that's that's what I would, I guess, sort of, reality. Sort like of. you can create okay, your own of. reality. So could you say things. that to someone with a disability? Yeah, definitely. How? I think it's like anybody. How can you make someone who goes to a grocery store just trying to feed off of every day, like live in this world, and the thing they want is three feet above them? Right. Like – that would piss someone off. Like that would make your life be, well, keep well, negative, negative, a, negative. Yeah, and it's a choice, right? Like it, it is a choice. At the end of the day, it's to, not a choice. To for, say, it's not a choice that I was born like this. True, but it's a choice to it's determine a, what attitude you're going to take to getting that thing that's three feet above you. Here's what I would say to you, Evan. <clears throat> True shit. At least it's not three feet below you. <laughs> Just think about it. You could simply. Get a ladder, ask someone else okay. to get it. If it's three feet below you, you'd have to dig through the fucking floor. How fun do you think that That's would be? It's, it's all about how you look at it. Fail industry. It's all about how you look at it. I gave you this analogy once. I like analogies. <laughs> and I want to give it to you again right now. Because yeah. it kind of uh, piggybacks off that. Um, planes, right? <sighs> great, great. I love technology. this analogy. I, yeah. I, I, oh, oh, the technology. planes. Oh, my bad. The thrust. Uh, uh, thrust. Like how they don't make sense. No, not uh, well. Like because <laughs> they don't make sense. Well, if you break it down in physics, which is what I'm about to do, they do indeed make sense. So Nerd. let's let's relate a plane to your life, okay? Uh, in the early 1900s, it was impossible to fly. Then the Wright brothers invented the plane, where the drag on the plane equaled the amount of thrust. And there's two forces also going up and down, but the drag equaled the amount of thrust, and the plane was able to take off. Right? Which so, they were told they're going to go to hell. By the way, because they built a plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why? Because they. In, we're flying. You're people around them. That. People around them in what was it? North Carolina. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. It, North, it was. No, what was, was the Ohio, city Dayton, Ohio. No, oh, really? No. It's North Carolina. No, it Don't Dayton, try Ohio. to Ohio this shit. It was Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, no, he, I think he might. No, it's it not the Dayton, right brothers. We're fucking North Carolina. Dayton, Ohio. Are you gonna pull it up, or are we just gonna trust you? Where <laughs> did the right brothers fly? Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. For all my people in Dayton, why is Dayton called the Dayton Flyers? Are they from Ohio? Where are the Wright Brothers Mike, from? Mike, Mike, poses. remember how he always spits out factual information and he swears he's always right about it? No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm always down to get fact checked. Yeah, yeah, Where did the Wright Brothers yeah. uh, I love it. No, but I love from. it. Just no, hold on. I don't know if uh, Back in Dayton, Ohio, the brothers found much they had to do to perfect their vision. 
while the 1903 Wright Flyer did indeed fly, it was underpowered and difficult to control. So they <laughs> so, did. No, they so, did create their prototypes in Dayton, Ohio. So what wow. you're saying is the Dayton, Ohio portion of it was the failure <laughs> portion. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that represents that, uh, that pretty well. <laughs> Anyways, here are the physics on a plane, right? Got the drag. You got the thrust. You got the lift and the weight. Let's cancel out the, the top and bottom forces. Drag and thrust. Let's say your life is the plane, Evan. Right. You, I know you, feel like you, and you do, have a lot of drag. Everyone yeah. has a certain amount of drag um, pulling on them. I asked you, is there ever amount, ever an amount of thrust that you feel you'll have in your life where you have what it takes to take off and fly? Can there ever be any amount of success or fulfillment in your life that offsets the drag that you feel? See, I don't like going back to Spencer's question. I just, I just ne never really saw, saw things as positive and negative. I always thought saw it as reality or non-reality. Like that's ridiculous. I'm, I'm. I know. They I know, thought I know, it was know, impossible know, to fly know, a plane. I know. They did. I know. And people would come to me all my whole life saying that like, is always going to limit you, I'm one of the most man. negative person they ever meet, and I've always, I've always been like, why? Like, it's, I'm not being negative. I'm just being real. And it's just he opened my eyes. You opened my eyes. It's just like, I guess I could keep coming up with excuses. That for reasons to being sad instead of just like, like you said, powerful, powering through them and fighting mm -hmm. through them. But that also comes, I guess, why I love the love. Because I guess when I'm in a relationship or I have this different type of love it gives me a different drive it gives me it feel it makes me feel invisible you told it, me it makes me feel like this person doesn't care what i look like doesn't care that i'm a little person doesn't care who i am like as in dwarf mamba but they just care for me like for my likeness because i'm funny because i'm fun mm -hmm. and that's how i lost this one person because i was very very negative well so was she Yes, I mean to a point, yeah. But I never, I could, I never, I had trouble seeing ways, seeing things as positive, and uh, maybe it's just a conscious shift in the way you view life. Yeah. yeah. Well, Something to think about, bro. Because I love this analogy. Like anyone, ask yourself, like the amount of dry, the amount of. Uh, problems that you think you have in life is there ever anything because here's where i'm going to take this is there ever any amount of again success um goal achievement fulfillment from fulfillment that you think you can bring on, onto your life to make you feel like you're flying and if so if the answer is yes which by the way the answer is yes like the answer is yeah. probably gonna be yes most of the time yeah. what are the action steps you need to do to make those things happen so you can take uh, the fuck off i would guess play in like an actor obviously and have a Hollywood have Hollywood roles that I would play that any other person would play like not the elf not the imp not the troll that lives under the would you the, take those the, roles if they, they were the first roles you started getting no you wouldn't no question <clears throat> how do you think and how do you feel Going on lap 47 in NASCAR at 11 a.m. <laughs> is helping you achieve that goal. And, and and by the way, let me fuck. I just said I know maybe why you're doing that. But let's let's leave that aside as much as we possibly can. Can we get you out of that fucking room? Yeah. And get like I'll drive you to the fucking castings. I swear to God, dude. Like I'll drive you. I'll I go just, there with you. I guess. Let's get you there. Yeah. Like, good. I'll help you get there. Yeah. All right. I mean, I, I'm not going to say what I was. What was your question for Mike? Oh, um, shit. Let's go. So this, this, takes both, <laughs> this takes the whole topic 360. Wait, so right back to the beginning or 180? Oh, uh, 180. Okay, that's My fair. Bad. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> I, meant, like, I thought we were going like, back it, to it, Amanda. No, it, was just, the, it was just whole crazy. Because I'll talk striking vipers. All that you want to go talk, we can go back to that shit. Jesus Christ, Mike. Chuck. No, no, we're not going to. We're not going to. Um, no. <laughs> do you think. Do you think the Japan video is the reason you're here today? And do you think your relationship with Wogan wouldn't be as close if it wouldn't have happened? All right. First of all, 
who the fuck said we were going to get this deep on this podcast? No, I was kidding. I mean, you made me cry. So I know, I know. That's, I why, I'm, say that's why I'm saying it. <sighs> this is one of the, this is one of, this is that podcast. Great dude, question. Huh? Fuck. In the months prior to Japan, me and Logan started to become closer friends. And we start, I started to be in the content. <clears throat> I remember you, we, Drug, dragged the Christmas tree down the street yeah. behind the Yeti and I rode on the back of it with the GoPro. Those. Yep, many of those. And we were doing more and more videos. Um, it, I, I was still just coming back from the East Coast. Like yeah, back I remember when you came in, uh, the first time I met you, I believe, was the Kong when you came and take- Kong. Took, took Kong. Yeah, with Ayla. When, when, yeah, when you went and bought Kong. So was that, that, that the first was, time I met yeah, you? Yeah, but that was way back. But but anyway, so, so right before Japan, we started hanging out more and more. And there started to be discussion about me coming on the team. But there was also a lot of pushback because the table was set. Mm. Everybody involved was ready to make a shit ton of fucking money. And everybody involved, except for Logan, was kind of like, we don't really need another seat at this table right now. We really don't. We're a rocket ship. And so as much as I was about to come on and things were about to jump off, I also wasn't. Fast forward two months to Japan. Japan happens. The fucking shit goes like this. Free fall. Okay, full on nosedive. No one knows which way is up. Did that, that afforded me the opportunity to come in with some very good ideas to create a fail-proof system so that that didn't happen again. It wasn't implemented in time for Ratgate, but it, but it happened just That's after. True. Okay? But it was... It wasn't Not implemented. It, was, oh, it wasn't. It was. It was. Yes, it was technic started. Technically, it was. Te no. Because here's why. Technically, yes, the review team was in place, but there weren't. I am a stubborn. That's what it was, motherfucker. Oh. That, and, and, and so when people are here, sometimes be like, I'm sure this is fine. And sometimes <laughs> one, you did it for two videos. Oh, you're so right. You sent it to us. We reviewed. This them. is Jeff. The third video. We didn't get. It just went, went up. Videos. And so that. And so. And so the short answer is. What this is, this is it. What Jeff and P found, Paolo, the CEO of Maverick, found out after Japan was that I have the ability to talk to Logan and he and we can have a conversation and I might be able to get him to understand what they're saying. That that ability to collaborate turned into blossomed, turned me into a talent and then a, a best friend and a friend of yours and a friend of yours. And that's why we sit here today. And so, in a way, another horrible fucking thing that spawned a bunch of beauties, such as this podcast, where we're at now on vlogs, long form content, and also people knowing that he's able to rise from the ashes of something that is so grave and create something so great. Would you uh, love that answer? Would you Mike. say your, your your relationship's closer too? Uh, me and Logan? Yeah. Oh my God. That was that that period of time after Japan was was one of the most strenuous on me as well, as well. Because by the way, I had already made it fully clear to everyone back in my old life that Logan Paul is the best person in the world. He's my best friend. When that happened, the blowback was major. And it, it was, it was major for me. And Got I had it. to fight through a lot of, you were in the garage I, 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 for yeah, that infamous think, garage meeting. I had to fight through a lot of horrible shit. There. You were there. To be Most sitting in this seat. Were. Yeah. And so you remember what that was like. And I was, I was battered, beaten, and, and left to die, basically. And, you know, all of that was tough. But, yeah, the reason we all sit here and we all feel like this right now, and that includes Jeff and P, is because we broke down shit and then built it back. Mm -hmm. Like Logan always says, the, mu the breakdown muscle and it builds stronger. And that's where we're at right now. And that's why we're fucking winning. Even though we argue, that's all bullshit. Anytime you see us arguing, it's... <laughs> collaborative differences afterwards we might even argue more outside we probably will today i got a few fucking things to say to him <laughs> but no but it always comes back to love yeah respect what do you got for logan um uh oh <laughs> this one's like i think it's i don't know I'm oh like, shit dude that. where did you who just gave you these uh, questions who gave him the question are what you are you afraid that Hollywood is potentially blacklisting you and or not giving you a lot to the table due to the Japan video or have you been taking time off? Uh, I don't think afraid is the right word. Conscious. 
Oh, so the, you the, think the they time. are doing it? They're doing yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For sure. For sure. And rightfully so. Like, bro, I'm, uh, I am perceived as some sort of atomic bomb. You know what I'm saying? Why is that, do you think? You think that's just because of the Japan video? No, I think it's or- the, 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 the series of mistake after mistake after mistake. Even if they are, like, quite honestly, just like honest mistakes, people don't care. They, True. they, you make people you- love failure. Well, yeah, but also, like, no, they love it. I'm, I'm a, I am like an edgy guy. It's why people love me. It's why people hate me. Like I'm that guy. I will, I am not afraid to be a hundred percent myself and yo, again, love it or hate it. I'm cool with either. I really am. Just please don't be indifferent. That's the worst. <laughs> what, do you think, really what, do you, what do you think of Logan Paul? Yeah, you know, no, no opinions on him. Yeah. Like you don't pay my bills. The people who hate me pay my bills. <laughs> please keep hating. But uh, yeah, for sure. Hmm. Do you feel like it's getting better? Me? Like in absence of mistakes and, and you doing good things and going to Watts and raising awareness for this or, yeah. or even having Evan on. Like, do you think it's getting better? Like, yeah. I feel like people yes. are knocking. Yeah. Yeah. Abs- absolutely. But I uh, I can't tell you the last time I needed Hollywood or anything traditional media, anything. Like, I just don't, right? So, like, yes, it's getting better. I'm also indifferent to the fact that it's getting better because we are on, as you know, such a uh, upwards trajectory. It, it, I'm, I'm, I'm very solid with and happy with where we are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro. The boys got deep Yo, today. this is easily the deepest episode ever. Ever, ever, ever. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm really oh, exhausted yeah, I could, too. I, like, I, wanna... I really, I was not expecting this at all. Like, I would come on here and be like, yeah, like, dual person was this, but I do this. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't. It was, God damn it. I knew, I knew it would go there. I, could you always do? Could you like. He knows. You like operation things. No, that might have been my fault today. Sir, no, I just. I, well, you yeah. remember that no, one time even... on my birthday? Was it my birthday? I'm fucking at Vegas at Tower and Marquee. dinner. All right. No, uh, oh, Beauty and Essex. Beauty and Essex. Yeah. Do you remember that? What happened? He, <laughs> bro, we were like, we were just talking. We were just talking. I said one little thing. And then you like, you heard me that say- That was you that you heard, you heard me say it. And you were like, oh. And then you you asked a question. I was like, whoa, uh, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh. You were there, right? And then you asked another question. Like, you kept mm. picking at what I was doing. And I go, I, I go, like, I go, it's his birthday, like, I man. This. I was just like, yo, I'm just trying to have dinner. Like, <laughs> with my boy, oh, Mike's like, stop, that. stop. And you're like, no, I want to get the no. I was like, <laughs> like, well, because I, I love deep conversations. You love deep dude. conversations. You love these conversations. That's why right now I, I had to storm off because I'm not. Mm. We do that when we're together, not yeah. on camera. When you guys said there's no cameras. Yes, there's fucking cameras. Yes, people are going to fucking watch this. Don't act like there's cameras. No, there's not. It's both of them. There's cameras, okay? No, there's no camera. All I don't right. see any. So that's why I, it was no just- cameras. They said I was at the party last weekend, too. I lo- social engineering, bro. It's my shit. I love it. I love it. I was an engineer. An engineer, dog. An engineer, dog. <laughs> and now you're on social media. Do we have- we have a, I mean, we have another game. Facts. We have a lot more. Like, I, like, I don't know, bro. I'm having a good ass time. Me too. I, I, I thrive when I'm uncomfortable. And I, because I like, I, like, like Mike said, I know that's where growth comes from. So like, while I'm very uncomfortable right now, I, I, I'm f- charged mm. and I, I, yeah, I enjoy I'm, that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? From things, I'm sure we all learned from things from this. That Evan's final empowerment, best message for it all. Do you have a final empowerment message? Best or did you just make that up? Game. After the game? Yeah. All right, let's do a segment. I got a segment here. I, I, this might actually segment. be so just out of touch and completely inappropriate. <laughs> oh my God. Did, just show it to him and let Yeah, it's probably good. I feel like because it's going to allow you to explain things that no one thinks about. So trust, trust me, all right? Uh, I already <laughs> things know. that piss Evan off. <laughs> oh, trust, trust. All Ready? Right. Here's one. You get heated about the U.S. government. <laughs> you get <laughs> heated about the U.S. government. So mad. You want to make Evan mad? You want to get him going? You talk about Trump. Because <laughs> I hate separation. You walk downstairs. I hate this. Mike, stop arguing. Just Mike gets to charged one. too. Bro, I had a full out argument with yeah, Mike oh, last night. I walked night. into that. 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, it was 30 weird. minutes. Yeah. It, w- it was good. It was productive. It was good. I- kind of. Dude, are we talking about it at all? Even nah, slightly. Nah, nah, I don't, all right, I don't to me, anyways, we had we had a we had a conversation that was partisan based. Evan came downstairs and got involved. The, 
to this point, veins were popping, fingers were getting thrown, but then he ran Because <laughs> I'm a loud guy, and also my, th- my veins come out so easy. Same with his. Yeah, like, mine too, mine too right here. It's a wild minute. They easy, like no matter if I'm- The end of the conversation end, ended with one statement, which was, if we don't work together, we're not gonna get anywhere. And that's, and that, I, I'll fall back on that till the day I die. That's why I hate them. They like, can never they work together. They're, they're like, they're, no, they're we have- They're fucking embarrassment, bro. It's a for fucking sure. embarrassment. Facts, shame. Here we go. Public restrooms. <laughs> Oh my god! Talk man. to me about this, bro. This talk, should talk be to, talk a to them about fucking that. wall in pub for public restrooms. Imagine me. I'm dying to take a piss, right? I'm dying <laughs> to take a piss. I'm just like, where do I go? To a public restroom. If I walk in and there's no stalls and the fucking urinal's coming up to my chest, and there's no kid urinal. What the fuck am I supposed fuck. to do? Yeah, that's tough. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, and the sinks. And the sinks. Like I, I've really like I've, what, one time before. One time before, there was no one in the bathroom. I was like, oh, I have to go bad. I have to go bad. I had to like, I guess, kind of like aim up. Oh, and, like, hoop oh, it. Yes. Like, hoop it. Yep. Yeah. But it was like I do that, and, and after... then I just pissed on the floor. I was like, you know, fuck this. And I was just like, hey, not my fault. What do you have to? Do you say? ever stand on the toilet seat? <laughs> No, because I don't have to do it for stalls. It's only the urinals. Oh, so if there's like if if, if there's a stall, I'm good. Ten out of ten, I'm okay. good. Okay. Unless that's being occupied. Occupied, then I'm fucked. What do you have to say to the people that designed these shitty bathrooms? Think about other people and not just normal people. What What about the people who designed the little soap bars that go in the urinals? Anything to say to them? Because I often see those and I'm like, someone makes these and yeah. they're rich because of yeah. it. Yeah, I've thought like about some, that too. Someone's parents Respect. make, like, and like my parents that. make the yeah. little pink soap bars that go in urinals. Sometimes I go to pee in the urinals and there's a little soccer net yes. with a, a ball. That's incredible. What? I have not yes, seen that. You piss and the, the soccer ball you hangs score. on a rope and you score. That's amazing. It's incredible. incredible. That's incredible. I've never incredible. seen that Jess pulling something Wait. up right now. You gonna send me? It's incredible, dude. Like, you know how I many? I'm just sitting there scoring goal after goal. I'm drunk and I'm scoring. It's dude. not only urinals, though. It's like, even if, if let's say you do have the urinal, you do have a stall. And then I'm like, damn, this is gross. I gotta wash my hands. I can't. Towel's too high. The soap's too far. I can't. So it's just like, oh, well, gotta walk out with no washed hands. What if you carried a little stool with you everywhere? Why do I have to do that? Why should you have to fucking do that? Yeah, no. it's that stupid. That shitty parents. Be- Talk to me about shitty parents. Ah, oh, shitty parents. For well, this goes back to the 1600s. I guess isolating, <laughs> sort of isolating your kids. Also, what really grinds my gear? What really grinds my gear is like when kids. Only one gear. Kids. Kids, kids really grab my gear, and I know they, I know like they're innocent, but it's like they will say anything. They will say anything that's on their mind. Like, oh, I've witnessed this. I've witnessed this when a kid sees you. Yeah, like they, they just. I know it's not bad because it's a kid, but it's the reactions that the parents take that pisses me off even more. So if the parents don't say anything, that. It really pissed me off, and I will tell the parents as I control your fucking kid. Um, <laughs> Have you ever been told pick on someone your own size and you beat up a ten year old? <laughs> I mean, I've told go pick on someone your own size, yes, but I've never then gone gone and beat up a ten year old. Well, I mean, if they're fucking being little shits, I don't know, clock them, put them in their. place, I know place, it's just bro. like someone's got to put them in their place. What's going <laughs> on? Like, that's why it's like, it's like obviously an adult can do it, but because he, he'll kill the kid. But it's like, come on. Quick, quickly, I'm sorry. <laughs> just give him a little quick slap. A little, like, a little bop. Then the kid no. will be like, all right, I won't back fuck, I don't fuck with those people back anymore, Al. For disrespect. Respe- oh, back, back in. in. Back yeah. in. Back in. Right. Really quickly, I just got to ask about this kid on the screen here. <laughs> well, what's, what's fucking good? Who gave him this haircut? Is that, he's got, it's a white kid with Kawhi Leonard's hair. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? That here, is dude? odd. That is odd. All right, what we got next? Amusement parks. Oh, fuck. You once had a, a line in your song. Four foot two, so they won't let me ride. <laughs> Dang it. That was Adley. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Pretty What's much the can't cutoff? go to them. <laughs> What's the cutoff? Is it like, it's like five two or, or what, for most rides? It's, it's like um, 52 inches so or gu- above. So guess what? We went, remember that one time we went go-karting and we, we, we didn't they check? They said 50 inches. 50 no, they, inches. Said, they said it was 50 inches, which I was 49, 49 and a half. Yeah. Which... If it, that's it. like this any cut. other person that would be like, okay, I could do it. Right? Yeah, but that said, they cut you some slack. You shoot out like a rocket into a pole off the roller coaster. No, they let him drive or the go karts. No, let me drive the so go karts. They should have. They have let you drive. No. Oh, okay. No, because really? it was well, it was hard as fuck for me. 
Oh shit. Like I could not, I was literally like this while the steroid the steroids was so fucking hard to turn. Yeah. Like ridiculously hard. Yeah. The vlog that day was called The World Wasn't Built for Him. And it was us holding hands looking off into the sunset. <laughs> because of that, I remember that. Oh, you had yeah. you had a, a very hard time driving. Um the go-karts. Supermarkets. Do they piss you off? I was confused about this no, one. No, no, not really. So more grocery like, stores. Do you hate produce? <laughs> or do you What's love a, it? <laughs> like asparagus, for example. No. What's that ever? By the way. <laughs> no, I just hate. Yeah. I think Did we, you ever pull it up yet? Yeah. I th Have we talked about this yet? I don't know, but it, I'm just so intrigued by this. Do you want to try to find the, the, uh, I got it, the I got meme it. itself? No, it just. Look, I'll say it. Asparagus. Let's talk. Let's dive in real quick. Asparagus grows. Yeah. Like someone tricking someone into thinking how asparagus grows. Like, yo, that it looks like a trap that a little kid <laughs> set up. Like, here's the asparagus. Come on. Look at that shit. That's how it really it fucking doesn't make grows. Any sense. It doesn't. Why doesn't it? Because who just Are goes straight up like that shit of vertical? Out of the ground, bro? It looks like a little trap. Like it's, like, on, it's like, can you imagine if corn just popped up like on yeah, top with corn. yellow? Yeah, with no yellow. husk. It, that is like for an asparagus lover. It's so like, come on, stayed, come stayed, on. It, like, it's interesting that this is like a straight plant. No, but why is it in like a husk or like on a plant? Here's or another weird one. Dude. Pineapples, bro. You see this shit? You gotta be one fucking plant kidding per me. pineapple. No, it's not possible. No, it's true, bro. There's giant fields of one, one what pineapple. What the fuck is that? One pineapple is growing on the top of this little flower. Yo, pineapple are dank. 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 Make your semen taste good. Yeah. I wouldn't know, but. But I'd be, I mean, we've. I've never experienced so pineapple. <laughs> what? The, the whole Fuck. pineapple semen. A, I've had multiple it's, girls it's tell a known me it's fact. true. It's a known fact. Yeah. yeah. That pineapples will, and probably a couple other fruits similar to it, will make your- Well, it's interesting how when you consume- Oh, that's true too. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies should be eating pineapple and other fruit like that because it makes yeah. the- It's interesting how pineapple tastes so good, but then it's used uh, in hell as a weapon. <laughs> That is Very so true. That's you know? so true. It could be so good and it could go up I your mean, ass. That's just one of those things. <laughs> that's just one of those things. There's a lot of things in life that taste good but are used as weapons. <laughs> Fucking true. Hey, should, we, cucumbers. should we go to audio cucumbers. only? Should we do audio only? Wait, what yeah. about facts? Should we, oh, just, should we do, should we do just, facts we haven't on done audio facts only? In two, we haven't done facts in two. In We've actually on, done for both episodes. But on audio facts. though. Okay. We're going to do facts on audio only. Okay. If you want to stay up to date with culture and topical events, make you hear Spotify and iTunes. Should we do like a hug or like a? <laughs> nah, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think we should close out this quickly, uh, because yeah, I do, I do want to get a little juicier on, on the audio only. But yo, Ev, man, um, I love you. That was a very deep podcast. I really, really do appreciate you opening up, and um, I, I, I am sorry for how abrasive and headstrong I am. I know it's something I need to work on. It's so hard for me, bro. And maybe, I, again, I need to go to therapy or something to figure out why I'm so, like, I guess just, like, stubborn and locked in this mindset right you know, now. You don't need therapy. You have friends. That's what friends are for. But I, I, But it's like, yo, we're telling you what a therapist is going to tell you. I think it's in, really quick, too. I got to tell like, you. You got to work. Or like, you got to catch yourself in the act. If I, you never catch yourself, you never No, learn. Ev, that's the worst part. I know exactly so when what someone, I'm doing at someone, all times. Okay, so when Mike and I are saying, like, chill or that's fucked up like just come to consciousness being like i hate i hate to take his like uh to like make him feel more okay about it but i swear to you a lot of his age too dude i i because i'll tell you being 34 when i was 22 to 26 even my mentality was this fuck you and if you don't like it Go fuck yourself. <laughs> that was also, you grew up in a- Horrible situation. Very different. Completely, completely understand, but I can also- Years no, of like, like dude, back in the early 2000s, that was well, the whole, well, that was I, a whole mentality. Yeah, but I'm just saying, it's not like I broke an axle on the Oregon Trail. It was a few <laughs> fucking years ago. What do you- well, it's crazy how, what, how much is good, here? dude. How much has changed? Have I died like, of dysentery? Like, what's good? Did I, am I am I unable to ford this river? Like, what are you saying, Evan? It was ten years ago. Like, it's not fucking pre-European pilgrim times. What I'm getting at is, ten years ago <laughs> yeah, I was a scumbag. So cool. <laughs> ten years ago I was a scumbag. Yeah. It took me a long time to figure out life. Is better when you're not a fucking asshole to people. It just fucking is. It just is. Building I'm worried. I'm worried. Friendship. I have. I'm worried. I have a asshole syndrome. No. Oh, yes. Uh, sort of. Uh, a 
very mild case of whatever Steve Jobs had that made him such a a successful dickhead. I think I have a little bit of that. Ah, I would say I would say a very it's like one of the biggest geniuses of. In the history, was it? It's no, his colleagues not come out and that Steve Jobs was an no, asshole. No, no, no. I'm yeah. saying that, but I, I bet you'll get fucked up for that comparison. Nah, I don't know. Because I, he did I it, think it's a very because small he did sliver. Because he did it. You, you want to talk to him? Go ahead. He did it. What? Oh, go ahead. A small sliver. I was just saying, it's like a very small. So I said mild. Yeah, mild. Super mild. I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't yo, like condemn yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not. I'm just saying. I just have stuff to work on. No, like I'm like I'm gonna be honest. I'm damn near perfect. I just have something. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll get. We're gonna get there. We're All gonna right. get there. The only thing that matters is that we get there on the together. audio only. For- what was your thing <laughs> on the audio only? <laughs> This is, see, this is always me and Mike. Together. Together. I was making a joke, joke. because it's joke. counteracts everything we just talked about. <laughs> just right. Why'd you make a dick also out of that necklace? <clears throat> you can't see it on the camera, but I did make a dick. I was, I'm bored, bro. I was watching. See, see here it goes. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> Social engineering. Oh, I'm bored. I, I know when to move on to bored. the audio only. But you're bored right now, not before. Right? No, I'm bored oh, right okay. now. I made a okay. dick out of the necklace. Okay. Like right. we're talking about pineapples growing. Like clearly I'm fucking bored. Hey, I don't know how we got to that. Audio only, Spotify, iTunes right now. Let's do it. I've seen you go under the little ticket things. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. Or, or, I've seen, or, I've seen, or, seen, or buy some nice ass shoes. Buy child tickets. Child size shoes. I mean, <laughs> I'm just fucking yes, like around. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's, that's the great. thing though, is that's there's great. always positives to exactly. everything if you look but, at it right. But, but, 